Trash to Cash Podcast, episode 118. How's it going? I'm Dave, the ADH guy. With me, as always, American Jerry, in Arbitrage. Las Vegas. Yep, in Las Vegas. And uh, all the way up in Virginia, we've got Kevin, the common wealthy, 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 So wealthy. much money. Lots of money picker. Off-putting. How does it feel to be as rich as you are, Kevin? How do you... How dare you? How dare you? Is, let, let's have start you with lost, that. Have you lost touch with the poor teacher, Kevin, yeah. and transi- transcended that mm. yeah. into a stratosphere of wealth that we can't comprehend? So, Carrie's here, What's, Kevin. What? Carrie's here, by the way. I can see that, notice, Yeah, I can see that. I'm right here, Kev. Don's back he there. He's way bigger than you. I know he's I know. bigger, but he's not this much bigger. He's higher than you. That's what it no, is. No, I am. Uh, no, I think this actually, is right. I he's, just have a very large butt. Carrie's six <laughs> very four. Very large butt. Carrie's six four. He's one foot six, taller than me. Six four. Well, four I'm, I'm five five. So yeah. Anyways, Kevin, uh, we went thrifting today, which you know it's not my forte, but I was like, I got a treat. I know. Kevin, or what's his name? Carrie, Carrie and my Dawn. Name's Carrie today. To uh, to some thrifting, and I wanted to tell you, I want to start off the show with kind of. Carrie's whole who he is, yeah. right? We go to the thrift store, and I hear Carrie at some point today telling Don or something, you don't need to be good at thrifting. You just have to go thrifting with someone who's good at thrifting. 100%. That's the key that to is success, the key. right? Yeah, it is the key, though. And man, did I see it in real time. It's four-dimensional chess. <laughs> four-dimensional chess. Why be good at Wait, stuff if I, you guys will just give me stuff? That's can I true. describe what happened? Can I yeah. describe yeah, what yeah, happened? I wasn't out. even there. Can I describe what happened? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Dawn was motoring around the place, pulling yep. things, I, I, I you know, really thinking, quickly. One um, row, she knew where she was going. She went to the next yep. row. She went to the next row. Yep. Carrie kind of wandered a little bit into, like, what he likes, and then he kind of moseyed towards something that was really small and really cheap and picked it up. <laughs> like, ah, I might make $4 on this. <laughs> And then he, mm-hmm. you know, Don would come with the cart and he'd pull stuff out of her cart and be yeah. like, oh, Don, that's pretty Dude. good. Then he fell bad, so he started to look a little hard. Yep, he, exactly. That's true. The that's thing 100%. Is, it's like, except I didn't feel bad this time. He always, I just kept letting him do it. He always says this line where he's like, well, you know, I look, and if I don't see anything that really excites, excites me, <laughs> I get kind truth. of... But he barely even looks. Like, it's beyond not looking. Like, Dude, uh, I am... I have transcended... I have thrifted so much i've seen it all i've done it all it's, so it has to stand i don't need to look through precious moments to wonder if they're valuable i know they're not you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah kevin it was like he wasn't even trying it's he says he looks and he sees if he can find anything and then he decides if he's going to go on it but he like he skimmed the store in 60 mm-hmm. seconds and then he just mm-hmm. sat there and looked at listen, Don. listen can i defend myself <laughs> neil degrasse tyson right famous yeah. scientist do you think he's sitting there reading books he just looks up in the sky and he no. can see if there's a star or not yeah and then he can tell you if it's there <laughs> so or like, if it's not there you don't need to do anything else i was trying so to motivate found that. him you i was trying to motivate him Kev. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I look for stars, and if they're not in the sky, then I just chill because I've yeah, done my exactly. work. I was trying to motivate him, so I go over to the clothes with him, and I'm just pulling out, like, just you were. years you were. of, like, jerseys were. and yeah. stuff. And he's like, <laughs> at first, he's like, oh, I don't, they don't really have anything. And I'm just, he's like, oh, what is this thrift store? What? <laughs> How do they <laughs> have I, all this I'm, stuff? I'm, I'm a little like, bit averse on this try. trip to getting too much eBay stuff, though. I want I've, to get mostly I've, I've done stuff. this. I've done this, Dave. I've You've been through this process before. I've gone to garage sales with him. I've thrifted with him. I feel like there's a portion or a segment of every podcast that's like an intervention for me. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, he says, he says, like, he's not someone who digs in, right? He doesn't, like, I'm really... Not a, I'm not a digger. Yeah, but it's not, it's beyond digging. You don't even try at all. <laughs> Literally no effort. Zero effort was put in by him today. And he just, he got tons of the fire because Dude, we are gone. What, like, what, here, here, what is here. the difference? No, I guess Tell me no what the difference is. You feel it's... bad about it? Aren't you happy for your friend for I'm finding all that I'm happy that stuff? I did so good. So, yeah, I guess yeah. you gave something to me, too. You I, gave me pride. I gave you the yeah. chance to help. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, look at that. Everyone Death pile picker. Your your death pile picker is to me like Dawn is to carry. See, I go exactly. out with him. He's like, yeah, I don't really want well, it. I'm like, you don't. Though, if, yeah. I'll take it. If I'm Thank going you. out picking with Dawn, do I really need to worry about it? It's gonna be found. Yeah. Wait. So, Kevin, are you saying you're Dawn or you're Carrie? I in that scenario, I'm Carrie because except for yeah, that would be yeah. right. Because no, yeah, usually I mean, I'm Mike not traditionally, but Mike, Mike will find Mike stuff wakes you up in the truck when he finds something, so you can come out and film it. Or <laughs> turn on the camera and come on in. <laughs> Uh, but he doesn't buy that much. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? You're just like, you gotta buy. And he's like, oh, well, you he's, can have it. I'm like, well, word right, on the street. He doesn't word sell, the, really. So, yeah, word on the street fair. is he has a death pile. I, I heard that. Somewhere. Yeah, but he's, just because you have a death pile doesn't mean you pick up. You, 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 you know. Oh, where's so. she going? Forgot an ingredient maybe for dinner. 
<laughs> uh, so we got another refund request for the event, Kevin. Wonderful. Two Thank tickets. You, Dave. So I'm going to go ahead and issue that just refund now. right now. Two more. Yeah. Was it the two that the were same. just bought? We convinced uh, <laughs> Zane at this thrift store and he bought two tickets. Yeah, we met someone at the thrift store, Zane. Hi, th- Hi Zane. What's up, Zane? Nice to meet you. He said he's listened to all the episodes over the last three months, by the way. Yeah. And uh, he said that seeing us was a sign, the final sign he needed to buy his tickets. We're out so there putting tickets. in the legwork. Yeah, but we're selling so you tickets. sold some. It reminds oh. me. Lost two, sold two. It reminds me of my missionary so days. We were out there. <laughs> yeah. We were out there spreading the word, and we converted. Outside the church, they were like, "Have you heard the gospel of uh, Mary? Trash, 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 trash. It's not oh the good gospel, gosh. but it's the gospel. It is. It is. It's yeah. mostly benefits us. Yeah, it's not, not good. Don't don't waste no. your time. On. <laughs> it doesn't benefit us. Well, but you, you tech, if we're being technical, it mostly benefits yeah. you. Well, but, yeah. you know what? It's yeah. still gonna be fun. We got a lot of people coming. I'm excited about it. And it's this week, Kevin. Well, sort of this week. Kevin, you're coming down what? Tuesday, Wednesday? <sighs> the Depends last day possible. Dude, Kevin, Wednesday they have the sold out Martin Luther King Day at the Webster. For oh, vendors. For vendors. Oh my gosh. For vendors. You know how big that, that place is? They're now selling booths in a separate field. They're selling booths in a separate I'm field now. For a the separate website. field is the parking lot. Yeah, no, it's like, uh, yeah, maybe it might be that there's, parking lot. Because there's the two road. parking yeah. lots. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It yeah. might be, yeah. It's going to be insane on Monday. Thanks I'm very a lot. excited about it. Appreciate what? the invite. We, You well, know when the heart is. We told, come on. You're I'm not coming down. I can't be gone for that long. Yeah, There's no way. Mm. People get mad at me when I shut my store down because only, only Wealthy content creators can, can, can shut that, their core yeah. store down. I'm like, what are you talking about? I just shut my store down all the time. Sold a damn it doll and a $200 flute while there's shows on. Dude, I have Probably. sold like nothing today. And I listed a little too. I think I, I sold stuff and I'm not even yeah. home. So I sold that? two items on eBay today and it is a Friday. Friday is usually the best day for eBay sales according to Rockstar Flipper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you know, Kevin, know. that we're going to be in his neighborhood? I told you this, right? Did I yes, tell you this? Yes, yes. I've only yeah. sold two. As well. We're going to ding dong ditch him. Shoot. We're going to ding dong ditch him. We're going to borrow his i8. We're going to take some exactly. pictures in front of his little I want, lake. I want, I want a picture in front of the lake. Yeah, it's going to be good. I mean, I'm excited about it. <laughs> How did he get in the elderly community? Because that is a 55 Dude, plus Rod community. Rod lives there too. Rod lives there too. So uh, I think no, it's really. No, what? That's not a 55 and over community. I, it might not be. It might not no. be. No. The only thing 55 and over in Rod's house is his dog. Yeah. Wait. Oh, is this dog that old? Dogs don't live that long, do they? This one apparently did. You know, I asked the Patreon for questions <laughs> again, <laughs> and uh, there a lot of the questions are about this merch idea that I must have said on the podcast yeah. without realizing. I have no it. clue of what we said. Yeah. Or I said in any. I podcast. think at some point I said I'd love to do like a custom shirt for the top tier patrons, but I looked into that. That's not financially feasible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So that's not Was happening. It the pin you were talking no, about? That, so we've got other ideas, but yeah, nothing, nothing concrete yet. The shirts, though, it, shirts you have to make like large quantities, or you have to. Is pay, it like, the cinnamon $17. you were talking about, which is like a cinnamon in a man candy? Yeah, it's a cinnamon in a man candy that is inserted into the anus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really it's delicious. Taken in a different treat. way. <laughs> no, but Dodgy Trousers did mm. say it's about that time the Trash to Cash podcast had a mascot. Right. What should it be and how quickly can we call, can Kevin get it on a t-shirt? <laughs> what would our, our would be a trash can, a trash right? can with, mm. with cash With like eyeballs, like, but in the trash can, there's like stuff in it that's important to us. Like maybe, maybe mm. like tux medicated wipes, yeah. hypodermic needles, oh, stuff yeah. like that. I'm not so sure well, I'm just saying that. like that would be in a trash can. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe not maybe yeah. i don't like this idea maybe yeah. there's so, gotta be it's not folksy we'll put a cowboy hat on it and give it a banjo how about that could be a, a dog like the junkyard dog oh that's, not, that's not a bad idea yeah so mm-hmm. i mean we did thrift today carrie we, what did you think dude it was not bad jacksonville we hit the two best J-Bill. spots j bill sorry j bill to all the yeah, people yeah we from hit the two best spots we got some good stuff i was buying lots of jurassic park dinos i don't know why but that's what i was buying there's just lots of i them got some there. halo action figures that i did found you, I myself just sold one for with my own eyes and my own body i which, picked it up i just sold one for 112 do you know which one you got i don't know which ones but at okay. the price i was willing to risk it because there was also a papo papo like fantasy papo. That dragon figure that's probably worth chicho. The, yeah papo know. chicho and who found it? I found it. He Thank found you. some, oh. yeah. He found 100% it. found it on yeah. my own. Um, he did that one on his own. We're <laughs> yep. pretty proud Thank of him. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you should look. Halo figures. There you go. Bolo of the See, week. I found the books Bolo last week. week that sold for $300. Don doesn't mind spending that money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Spend that on plushes <laughs> that are worth more, but still. 
<laughs> people really want us to talk more reselling, so I'm trying to like bring it right yeah. into reselling. That's the goal. Of well, let's so, start. You, all right, what do you got? I got well, I was just reselling. thinking, like, you know, we, we should really, really dive into like promoted listings versus promoted oh, advance promoted. versus, oh. you know, that sort of stuff. I think no, people want to know the nitty gritty, the crime. Yeah, no, I, I promote all my listings on Bonanza. I use yeah. their. It's nice. I use promoted advance plus. And you send in a, you, yeah, you send yeah. in a cashier's okay. check and you just hope it works. <laughs> yeah, still haven't sold anything on Bonanza. I haven't. I technically haven't posted anything. Either, there so. was a bunch of comments about people selling a ton on Bonanza. Did you see that? What is going on? What, Kevin? Are you just is like Bonanza? A real thing? Is that I, real? What do you want me to tell you, dude? I told you this, and then I told you it's going to get better. They had new ownership, and they're changing everything around. Are they going to change the doing... name? Because the name's terrible. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Yeah. The name's not. I mean, hey. I mean, it's not it as could... bad as, as tick tick witties. Tickwitties.net. Tick tick <laughs> .net, because the dot .com had been tick taken. Tickwitties, tick tick yeah. Kevin's, Kevin's idea for a story. Tickwitties. Whatever, dude. Yeah, that was Come a good on. try, Kevin. So, yeah. I see you're really embracing the, the fact that you're not in 50s yet with the hat off. I have a hat off, muscle and... tee. I like it. I yeah. took a shower. I've got Whoa! Oh, 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 took a shower. <laughs> Death well, Leopard shirt. How about that? I'm Look going at you, to dude. With my Why are we bullying Kevin? <laughs> I don't know. Why are we bullying Kevin? Why are you asking that 118 episodes in? We've been doing it for 100 plus episodes. It's just you said, easier. You're going to dinner at your parent, your in-laws' house, or your parents? Well, we were supposed to film this two hours earlier, just for the record. Well, yeah, so it just late. kept getting pushed back, and then Carrie had to go to the bathroom, and it just got pushed back even yeah, further. I don't think he wiped either. Based yeah, on no, I did not, dude. You, yeah. Dude, look, nature wipes itself. Um, yeah. So I was going to get ready after this and then go to and then i'm like no nah, i gotta take this and i didn't want to put a hat on so i just, you I, know, I just hey. to be clear to be clear you're walking through your backyard to your parents house right no That's your big night no. oh, they're down okay. the road they're down the road i could have uh, but no hold on it's not like far though it's walking no. distance no it's not you could walk I, then who, lives, who lives in the house right behind i you, could then? walk you could walk who lives in the house right behind you i have no idea oh so someone lied to me yeah. I think Mike told me it was your parents back there. But no. hold on. You don't know who no. they are. You're folksy as all get out. If who are back the people? in the woods? Who no, are the people like, that live in the woods behind your house? Coming uh, up yeah, to your I house. There's another house right <laughs> before it. Who lives right before you? Oh. Oh, I know. They're my neighbors. It's my not your parents. Known. Okay. No, okay, <laughs> my okay. parents live five miles down the road, dude. Kevin, I saw a movie called The Beekeeper, and it was about a retired teacher, oh. and she died. So that, <laughs> well, that's, that tends to happen to, to, to retired teachers. And I'm not trying else. to scare you as a retired teacher. I'm just letting you know gonna, so that you're this, at risk. He's not beekeeping, so hey, he's fine. Part of my decision to you know quit and do this whole reselling social media thing was a couple of years before I quit, one of the teachers who had been teaching forever, he retired. And right before the next school year started, he died. He's had a heart attack and died. I'm like, good night almighty. Wow. You know, I got this chance to what do something. You yeah, know, wow. take a. All take we were a, talking about was a fictional death, and you, a fictional is that a word? I think Fic so. Fictitious. <laughs> and you brought a real one into play, dude. Fictitious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, as part as real life is death, dude. Well, we don't you really think about, about real life things. here. Oh, let's really dive in. Let's dive, <laughs> let's dive, let's in, dive in. Well, let's dive. In. <laughs> okay, well. so speaking of that, what's the resale value on a coffin? Yeah. Ooh, there you I go. Oh, that's a good. I bet it's oh, what he's gone. Oh, I like he's it. Gone. He literally just he's died. Gone. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, oh there he's he is. Back. There he's he is. back hey, from Kevin. the dead. Welcome back. <laughs> the ghost of the Commonwealth Picker is here. His mic's this. not working again. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh, he's got to. He's got to. He's got to put both of the the what he probes There's into the hand. potato. Look at, that. Look at those lines energy. on his hand. You know what that means, right? When you have yeah. lines like that on your hand, it means no. your mic doesn't work and we can't hear. Look at this man. Give us the blue steel. Do the blue steel so we yeah, know. Yeah, can, can you hear do us. the Zulan? Oh, okay. Oh, look. Yeah, I love it. Perfect. When, yeah, perfect. I love this it. is our show. 118 episodes in. 118 this is still episodes. Happening. Gosh, man. You know, a lot of people were upset with him for not buying the Starlink, the Elon Musk internet. Is that available for real? I think it is. I don't know why he hasn't bought it He's yet. He's got so much money. He's rich. He just... January 21st is going to lead some to quit <laughs> eBay, and I'm watching that video on YouTube right now, and it's just unwatchable. <laughs> it is not unwatchable. I hear, listen, I hear you were like humble bragging to carry at 2 a.m., sending him screenshots of how well your video is yeah, performing. While he's sitting there one... with a 10 was... out of 10, he was actually it... crying himself to sleep. No, he was not. A two, and two, he was two, assault eight, in the wound. 10 uh, yes, the no, I'm not even on the No, no way, my videos are doing okay. My videos are yeah. doing okay right now. But mm. Kevin, that's Kevin's only time he ever texts. Not how are you doing, buddy? It's just I got a one out of ten. 
That's just or to it. send some no. slightly <laughs> inappropriate <laughs> garage sale jokes. <laughs> slightly <laughs> inappropriate I garage I sale jokes. I wasn't going to mention that. No, I'm not mentioning it. I'm not saying what it was, but it was slightly inappropriate. And I was like, well, well you could have I was fiend. like, was I was funny. like, is Kevin drunk? Probably. He's sending me this uh, YouTube <laughs> no. short right now. Carrie <laughs> <laughs> laughed at it. it I laughed. Funny. I laughed. He it laughed. was funny. Yeah, it was he funny. Laughed. Yeah. He also funny. followed that creator and is now a subscriber. So great content. You're connecting good people with good people. I sent him another yeah. garage sale video where they mentioned the Trash to Cash podcast. Yeah. Man. Really? Yeah, they there's like just some, that. there's some, yeah, well, I was a little distracted from the other one he sent me, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he sent me one where like this kid was like, yeah, I watch, I like, the other I like Kevin. you off on a side mission yeah, that no, you had to handle. <laughs> <laughs> no, he sent me one like what? this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. This is the show. What, I don't know what you guys are thinking nah, about, but go on. Nah, anyway. <laughs> Don's laughing. Don's laughing in the back. <laughs> she knows what we're talking about. Uh, anyway. We're talking about <laughs> the other, the, so the other video was a young kid head. that was talking about how much he liked Kevin and how much he liked mm. Dave and the one guy from Vegas. Ah, which hurt my feelings a little no, bit. That's well. I was telling Carrie like with the thrift store, he just like gloms on to successful thrifters. Same thing with his content creation. <laughs> you were the ones who got a hold of me because I was TikTok famous. Yeah, well, that's yeah. when you used to lie about how much TikTok paid. You have to remember, dude. TikTok yeah, actually does pay lie. pretty well. <laughs> it took years, but it actually. Uh, is he frozen again? No, he's just old. No, he just no he's just, he, he just, he just kind of zoned out for a second. Well, how come you're looking so like shadow? Uh, oh, yeah, put light the light up. Let's no, focus. Kevin, carry. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's worse. Put it back. Put it back. Hide it. No, I like it. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> So, Carrie's supporting the Florida Swordfish uh, today. Yeah, Are you a the, fan, I Kevin? figured Miami Marlins needed to be some representation. <laughs> oh, Kevin, so I got you a little. Nice. I got you a little hat at the thrift store today. It's yeah, one of your yeah. little nerdy ones. Yeah. We also got you. Did you get Tyler's. a shirt for him? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A I got him a shirt. Right? I got you a shirt. That's a surprise. Carrie had to censor it out of his video because yeah, really I had to censor the shirt that you have to wear. But you have to wear it at the event. Yeah, just I had prepared. to censor it for my video. Though. All right, I'm looking forward to it. What? Okay. So what about it? Okay, go ahead. I was going to say, my January trip, that's a good topic. That was about shipping. Yeah, I, 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 no, I, I aggressively didn't watch your latest video. So What's I was watching about? that, right? I was watching that. I was like, I would finished the latest Good Mythical Morning. I was still pooping. And I was like, oh, Kevin released something. Let me check that <laughs> yeah. out, right? And so I go to check that out. Wait, and you actually, pooped the whole Good Mythical Morning? Uh, yeah. Wasn't that like an hour? It's a diary. I had the queso. Oh, they, oh yeah, yeah, he did yeah, have queso, queso and he washed it down with some fudge so, from Bucky. So <laughs> yeah, so... I'm sitting there, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, wow, this is aggressively boring. But yeah. it's so interesting how Kevin has all these topics, right? These little topics. So at the end of my video I released today, I was like, do you guys want me to do stupid topics like Kevin does? <laughs> like, he's talking about the shipping thing and how people are going to quit eBay. You want my opinion on it? Mm -hmm. It sucks. The rates keep going uh, up. I, looking, I imagine they're going to continue to go up. If you want to watch people really do flipping videos There's and talk more about to topics, just that. watch the One Foot Flipper. Much well, better, more informative, off, better angles. I did go off on a tangent about how, like, I can imagine myself in 30 years, and, you know, I changed my voice to this real gravelly voice, because I guess I'm going to have oh. smoker's voice in 30 years. <laughs> we got to pay a nickel like, to ship this. Yeah, I got to pay, pay $150 to ship this priority <laughs> plush, and that's just, like, what's going to be. Because it, it goes up, it goes <laughs> up every year. The market is going to it grow up every exponentially. Year. No, the, the plush <laughs> sold for a dollar, but it's 150 to ship it. <laughs> so the question, the question I, I brought up in my comments, well, I said a hey, comment down below because Kevin does that all the time. It's brilliant. Yeah. I should do it more. Yeah. But I said I, I was like, so doesn't this like kind of make it easier on people on like big co corporations like Amazon who get massively discounted shipping, Kevin, and they can sell you a plush with free shipping for the same price that you're selling it on eBay, but you're having to charge shipping. Isn't it like eventually gonna kill eBay reselling so we should all quit? I think that's what your video was saying. Yeah, yeah. There's you're saying quit no. eBay. We should no. all quit No, you're eBay. telling everybody you to quit their jobs to do eBay video. again, Then right? to quit. <laughs> Dude, Is it that one again? Which one? Could you go back and forth every oh month? Oh my gosh, I never said that. All right, so look, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Every time he tries to make a point Oh, why or something were we, we were getting way too into reselling, this to be fair. Like that was getting annoying. Said. You were making a poignant point about how everyone should quit eBay because Look. shipping's too expensive. Yes. <clears throat> I just made the point. You're putting everybody in a really weird position because yeah. you just told them to quit job their jobs to do eBay. Now you're telling them to quit eBay. What are they supposed to do for a living, Kevin? Because it feels like it's just for your content. If going to quit eBay over a 5% shipping increase, then they're looking for reasons to quit eBay. Clearly, right? But there's more to it. 
like you do free shipping, Dave. Yeah. So what? Yeah. What do you? Well, what? Okay, so are, you're going to have to build in a little bit more. But or there make are people less money. Who do, there are people who do calculated, which I don't do calculated very much anymore. And so they're going to have to go in there. They don't have to do anything if you do calculated. And then there's people who like me who do flat rate shipping with rules that can go in and change their rules. That's easy. And then there's people who do flat rate shipping who put... Oh, no. <laughs> what am I talking about? Yeah, I just... <laughs> Here's a, like, couldn't you just done your whole video in a short and not made us watch like 23 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> couldn't you have just exactly. said this like in Dude. 30 seconds? Uh, I, you're right. I should make just totally ridiculous reselling content. That's what. That's I should. what we did. No, yeah. there's that market's covered. We got it. <laughs> we, got it. <laughs> we got that market. You, we got well, it. Okay, listen. We, we got we, all. Uh, we got did, all did filler. So all filler, no it. killer. No, this we were outperforming picker videos. We were listening to other podcasts today, and a lot of podcasts are out there trying to educate. And I'm like, man, me and Carrie really don't do that, but Kevin does. I think that's a good spot to be in. Have the yep. one educator and then the two yep. dullards. Yeah, the dullards. We're like sitting here educate. learning. We are, we are uh, you know, we are here in detention for. Yes, we're in trouble. They're making <laughs> us listen to this elderly man who doesn't even know how to man. work his internet, and he's as fuzzy <laughs> as all get out. He's like, yo, oh, how do I man. internet? So what it's happened? Time. What happened with the Starlink thing? The Elon yeah. Musk internet. What happened? You were gonna get well, it. I got this and it's worked mm. perfect. Am I frozen? Oh, yeah, I see. It looks like yeah. No, but it's it's <sighs> terrible. It's terrible quality. Yeah, it is really bad quality. But it's... you know what? It's fine. Actually, I think it looks better. He looks better. It does. He yeah. kind of <laughs> looks like a, a golem type figure, yeah. like some sort of gnome. I think it's actually <laughs> looking pretty gnome. fine. Yeah, a little garden gnome. <laughs> Kevin, can I ask you a question now? <sighs> How yes. many? What are they called? Um, Units of Botox do you yeah, use yeah. every three months to, to get that physique? <laughs> yeah. No. What the heck, dude? I mean, what in the world? This is my real hair. I don't dye my hair. I don't use but Botox. Kevin, and wait a minute. I'm not a swinger. Kevin. Okay. Whoa, whoa. That whoa, last part whoa, I'm going to edit whoa, out. We're we're editing that out. Yeah. Kevin looks like an aggressively old 13 year old without his head. He kind of, without, without his, his head. Yeah. Without, when you cut I've his head jet off. Lag. I've got the weirdest <laughs> case of jet lag right now. But without your Kevin, head, you look so young. What? Okay. Yeah. So I think I'm, I was talking to Carrie about this. Like, I think I will dye my hair at some point in the next 10 years. Like, I don't want to be a silver fox at the age of 45. No, I dude. don't, and I feel like I'm gonna be if I don't. My goatee has totally turned white in the last. Well, see, years. that's the thing. You got to do it, right? You got to. You can't just like go silver and then go back. You know, you got to like because right? people gotta, are like, oh, dude. Yeah. I think. Well, yeah. I'm just gonna be straight up about it. Be like, yeah, I dyed my hair, guys. Didn't come out very good. That's kind of what I. That's yeah. that's my future on my channel. Just I'm like the only male years. in the family that even has any hair, so it doesn't even. And that's because of your. That is kind of like. Pills. Is that the demographic of our podcast? Like older gentlemen desperately grasping onto our youth yeah i mean that I is, feel like that's, that's our demo that's what we're selling <laughs> that's dibbed it. Dibbed it. Yeah. That is dibbed it it's like please yeah. don't go stay <laughs> stay childhood please <laughs> for sure no doubt about it it's weird though we were at the uh, thrift store and people kept farting like yeah, and every then, aisle i was in it was really weird every, <laughs> every aisle, aisle you were in, in every aisle i was in there fart. was farts and, and i had know. to leave yeah we're not <laughs> I had to go to a different <laughs> aisle. It was really weird. Okay, so I was talking to <laughs> Tina this morning, and I was like, man, we got to go thrifting soon, and I just don't know if I have to poop. And she's like, what? How do you not know if you have the poop? Sometimes you don't. I said, sometimes I just don't know. And she's like, Dave, everyone knows if you have to poop, you have to poop. I said, that's no, not the way it works you, in my body. Sometimes you hold the poop and your body forgets you have to poop. And you have to... That's well, what sometimes, I mean. like, my stomach feels uncomfortable. I'm like, man, I wonder if I have to, but, like... Yeah. I, you have to sometimes just wait for it to happen. Yeah. You have to sit on the throne and edit some video. Yeah, but then like TikTok. you sit down and nothing happens. And no, so like, I guess I didn't know I if I had to. Old. Is that incontinence? I think it's Am just... I incontinent, Kevin? You'd know. Kevin. Am I incontinent? <laughs> yes. Tell me about I the know. early stages of incontinence. So yeah, I can Kevin, know Kevin are you, do you hold it and then just it comes out sometimes? <laughs> you're like, like you're walking just, down the street. And it's just like, like you held it and you forgot you were holding it. And then just blam. You're, at a, you're trying to rip to off some old lady at a yard sale. And then you just pooped yourself. You're trying to make this into another pants being garage sale. Video. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. That one is um, garage. That was that a flea was market, really by the way. Hey, Which, you were speaking of, you used my name in your thing today. Dude. Yeah. I thought you said you weren't going to do that. Uh, that helps with views. No, though. I didn't. It helps. Yes, what did. did I say that? Oh, I thought you did. Maybe I don't not. think I said I wouldn't. I think <laughs> I said I would. I think I told you I was going to. <laughs> okay. I said, remember, I told you, I said, I'm going to make you look bad you and say that you tried to rip off a lady. We had to use Commonwealth Picker. We couldn't call you Kevin. Yeah. So we used Commonwealth Picker. <laughs> no, and you know what, Kevin? It's performing pretty well. So thank you for that. I appreciate yeah. it. That's a gift. It's literally like you're only in like 40 seconds of the video and it's just you getting <laughs> shot down. 
trying to lowball some <laughs> poor old daddy. Can low ball <laughs> he edited it, it too, so it looks like pay. he paid I her edited it, so at the, the beginning, yeah, it looks like you said, I'd give you a dollar. She says no, and then I'm like, here's six dollars. And like it just he looks edited like it I'm... to make it look like he paid the full ask, and you're yeah. you're a monster. Pretty much, yeah. That's pretty much what's going <laughs> probably on. what happened. Honestly, you didn't buy that thing. I bought the other stuff, the tickle tickle wiggle yeah. wiggle, and all that other stuff. Dude, you mm-hmm. watched all. We it's watched all. We watched all the pocket change podcast on the way back we from did, Jacksonville. We did. The we volume did, was off. We did but... turn the volume off <laughs> and talk <laughs> over it. Yeah, but we, but did, we wanted them to get the view. <laughs> we gave them the view. We gave them the view. The volume has to be on to get the view. No, it was on. It was on. So here's the cool thing. I played it through the Bluetooth. No, I played it through the bluetooth and then i turn the car sound off not oh, the actual uh, phone sound you so go. you know you youtube overlords you really we watch not get a view line. if you have the sound off uh no you get a view you just don't get adsense according to kevin he said that several times i don't know where Where's he gets kevin this information yeah stuff? he just and makes how it how would up. they know well he's a personal friend with gary v and reezy yeah he is, so he, is. <laughs> he actually is on a first name basis yeah, he's with allowed reezy. to call reezy he's mike. allowed to call him mike so that's like pretty <laughs> that's pretty friendly kevin and reezy yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dave. Have you been getting requests? Or well, nobody wants to know carries, but uh, have you been getting requests to, at beginning of the year to share all your numbers again? I've got like three no. or four comments. Like what kind of numbers? You haven't got any? Oh, all your numbers. Hmm. Like Why how is... much do you make reselling? How much do you make? How is that? Anybody's anybody's the only way I can trust you unless they tell me. I don't well, even Holmes, know. Uh, Hustle at Home Mom did another one. She does one every year. Why? How much did she, she make? Breaks it all down. How much did she make? I don't want to have to watch it. Two hundred and seven thousand dollars. Gross or net? I sound like what's what's the difference? Net, <laughs> <to> right? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> net, bro. That's a lot. Net. <laughs> no, it's gotta it be. be gross. No, it can't be gross. Well, she said she made fifty-seven thousand. I think it was gross on eBay, and then the social media stuff is pretty much all net, unless you're paying, you know, uh, other people. Well, you have to pay stuff. taxes on it. It's well, but yes, but you pay taxes on your net, you know. Last no. year, I sold seventy three thousand on eBay. There, that's what I know. Quick, oh, quickly wow. searching, dude. There you go. A lot? You can do that much. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, it goes actually into five digits. I don't know. <laughs> did you know that? It's no. like, I know you hit four last year, which was pretty good yeah, for you. Dude, yeah, I did, did one hundred thirteen dollars. <laughs> well, it's this weird thing. Like he only goes to thrift stores, and he he walks in for four seconds and says, oh, "I don't think they have anything." He just senses it, and then he dude, leaves. Dude, like, yeah, I could tell. I could. Anything. Dude, there is something to that. I know you're giving me crap about it, but there you can go to a thrift store and know it sucks. Didn't you feel like that first one sucked, and then we it found did, a ton no? Of yeah, stuff. you did more digging, and we found out we it found didn't suck. We found a ton suck. of good stuff. But there. that's the thing. If I'm buying myself, I'm digging. But if I got diggers around me, then I don't need to do any digging. <laughs> oh, that's it's accurate. called. Yeah. This is. There's a great book, Kevin. You probably read this book, The Power of the Law of Power, or whatever. The Forty Eight Laws of Power. One of them. Sixty-one thousand on uh, on whatnot. Oh wow, dude, was my girl. Yeah. One of the Put those together, together, you got one of the email. laws of power is delegation, and I delegate. Put those together. I've got your what? Your uh, half of your YouTube earnings. Uh, this <laughs> month, <laughs> yeah, I got my eight. <laughs> this book. <laughs> Dude, you just feed this stuff. That's this that's, that's how much <laughs> viewer view, viewers viewer uh, abides he gets a month. Seventy plus sixty. What is that gross? So, that's that's like uh, hundred thirty thousand gross. Quite there. I'm a little less than that on eBay. Mm. Wow. No. You make a lot on one not too. Yeah. If you want to get a breakdown yeah. of what Kevin makes, Archie the the buttery biscuit butt. I don't know content. I probably made at it. least fifty on content. I'd have to look, but I'm not gonna look right now because it's seven channels. This is this is very inspiring <laughs> to me. Made... I didn't know that any of this was possible. I haven't looked. <laughs> Hold on, I can look. We can we can. I'm gonna give it just right here, Kevin. Really put the pressure on you to do it. I oh, I'm not doing you it. You brought this up. No so I love when safe. Kevin shows me like a bad video and how much he made, and that's like more than I made on YouTube. All 2023 month. is that the year we're talking about? Yeah, wow. fifty grand. <laughs> Dude. On picks. Dude. So on AI Picks Podcast. On AI Picks Podcast. <laughs> which is like you said it was a waste podcast. of time. Yeah, you said we were Those wasting are highly time. profitable views. <laughs> yeah. We get a thousand five hundred <laughs> per view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Kevin, you I saw you doing an auction during me doing a dibdit training. Which Again, I'm doing all the work for dibdit. Yeah. Um yeah. Mm-hmm. But was it face. run by you your daughter, did. not you? It seemed like she was Reagan was the one really doing the thing, right? Was this what night was this? This was uh, Thursday night, uh, Wednesday no, night. No, I did night. that one Wednesday. That night, my daughter and, and my daughter and me, but yeah, she was doing. It. She was doing. It, it was was crazy it her own good. stuff? No, it was the uh, Disney pins we bought with Rod down there. Were they uh, were they scrappers? Were they fakes? Were no, they, real? they were good ones. There was one. You box said you we paid bought. up for those. What'd you pay for those? Oh yeah, I paid a lot. Like three uh, bucks a pin, or. Yeah, like th- almost exactly. Yeah, and you sold them for, like what were you averaging? Like eight, ten bucks more? 
sold 50 pins and I did it different. I decided that because there were some eh, pins and then there were some that I couldn't quite verify they're real or not, but I mean, I would, I think they are. So what yeah. I did was I auctioned one off Kinda and then sketchy. we, we literally picked yeah. one up and said, here's your extra. And so we gave an extra pin. We just mm, gave one away okay. randomly mm. to every person. So a hundred pins. I don't know if Disney um, would like that, but th yeah. thousand bucks, thousand bucks. So $10 Ten a pin. Piece, yeah. If you count the extra ones we threw in there, so that means they were yeah. going for average is out yeah. to ten, but they were going for maybe twelve. Could have just said yeah. it averaged at ten. We didn't have no. They were going the for more yeah. than that because we did fifty pins. We got a thousand dollars. Okay, so, so twenty a pin. That's math. Yeah. Okay. And then they got an extra twenty. Pin. I would have just led with that. Yeah, twenty. Twenty would have been. I would have led with twenty a pin. Twenty a pin. Just moved on. So twenty is good. You got a good premium. Tornado has just F I believe just because of that. Listen, I believe it's pronounced horny tornado. He said he does not like it when we say that. Did he say that? Yeah, you need to be what if we say horny tomato? <laughs> Speaking of tornadoes, which part does he like, the tornado. tornado or the tomato? <laughs> I am. There's tornado warnings here in Florida. There is today, by the way. yeah. That's not and I am scared of literally yeah. everything in the world except tornadoes. <laughs> I want a tornado chase. I'm not joking. I really Dude, do. You do. One not. almost touched down the other day. There's literally a picture like near my son's high school of it. The I funnel feel like I could down. take one. You know I what I'm saying? I feel up. like I could take one. <laughs> I feel like it. I just have that confidence when it comes to that. I think, yeah. The irrational think... confidence you need to be a tornado chaser. I think that makes sense. <clears throat> I'm literally not scared of tornadoes. Is that wrong? No, I'm terrified of them. So. No, uh, like, you were like hiding in the laundry room? I was hiding in the I'd laundry room. I'd be out in the front because... yard like with my I lawn know. chair, Kevin really? style, taking a nap. Well, my, my kids all like get mad at me. And it's so funny because every time there's a tornado, I say, let's go to, you know, you get a thing on your phone that says go to a safe place away from windows, right? When there's a tornado in the area, it's a tornado warning. There's a watch, that's not a big deal. Warning, it says to take shelter. Okay. And I always make my family take shelter. Well, and smart. then they always make fun of me because dad's a wimp. Nothing ever happens. But there's going to be one day yeah. where Look, it actually happens. I would sit outside <laughs> until it got windy. If it started to get windy, I'd, sca it I'd be a little scared. It was incredibly windy. I would be scared because I don't like <laughs> wind, but I'm not scared of tornadoes. It was like 60 mile an hour wind that day. Oh. Yeah. Like, so it was, oh. it they got aggressive. no basements down there. No basements. Yeah, no basements. So no. it's a little scary. Alligators right? everywhere. A lot of gators. Yeah. So many gators. Actually one, you know, leaving this door open is risky. They could just crawl in. I remember. I grew up in California. Don? So Dawn. Okay, Dawn finding is still... good plush, Dawn? Dawn's She's going through her plush score today. She Dawn got found a whole a lot cart of full. Yeah. I mean, I found a lot of plushes today. No. Are you setting up an auction or something? We are. Tomorrow, tomorrow uh, Saturday, which will have already passed out. By the time so you if you're us. available in the past, you're if doing you figured tomorrow, out time travel. Tra tomorrow travel? on One Stop Shop. Don't be messing up my stuff. Oh, yeah. That's really going to interfere. Yeah, One Stop <laughs> Those Shop. Those seven people won't know we're doing an auction. <laughs> Oof. I'm going on Facebook. Wow. <clears throat> I'm doing resale lots over there. At what time? What time are you doing it? 315, but it's past, so it doesn't matter. I feel like that's doing literally a, exactly when we're doing I feel it. like you doing <laughs> I feel like you doing a whatnot auction or a dibdit or any kind of option with the Facebook attached is kinda of like some scammer like calling an old mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. on the phone and trying to take their money. That's, that's what, what that I movie feel was like about. Is, that's oh, what that movie was oh, about. Oh the beekeeper. Yeah, the beekeeper. Great movie. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Okay, so when is our show? I'm wondering if we are interferring. It's in the past, like you said, it, but yeah. It's two thirty two thirty is ours. <laughs> But it's a different group. You know, I feel like the one-stop shop group is different than the whatnot yeah. group. Yeah, so if you can travel in the past and attend yeah, our we're auction, selling. we would appreciate it via Primer. If yeah. you watch the movie Primer, you'd Please understand don't watch how... watch that film. It's, I hope it goes Watch well. us talk about it. AI picks. Thank I'm you. I'm selling resale lots. I'm selling Oh, you mean your own thing. Of course stuff. you hope that. I thought you were encouraging Carrie, saying I hope no, it goes well. No, oh, it'll do go that. fine. Are you doing it on Dave's? Yeah. 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 Oh. Thank you. You're doing it on Dave's, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 I'm doing mostly cards on my main channel nowadays. Oh, so I epically failed on my dib did auction that I did last week. <laughs> I had all these carded figures, and I tried to do the progressive shipping, but I did it wrong. Like I put too low of a How? price because oh. I put everything at six dollars start with two dollars progressive. But those things can get big. Yeah, they all ended up being like two pounds once I packaged them up, and uh, so it was like eight. I should have started them at eight with four progressive. Is mm -hmm. what I should have done. So mm -hmm. every single thing I shipped, I lost like two to three bucks on shipping. And I already wasn't making much, so it was a pretty bad auction. <laughs> but it was fun. It's just a standard day of reselling for Dave. Yeah. <laughs> he lost a little. I only lost a little. I mean, that's the other thing. Like, uh. I sell this Cricut machine. You know, those like, you bought it with Maybe you, you should watch my shipping videos. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to do that. No, dude, so, we got stuff to do. Kevin, I sell this Cricut machine. And so I, I buy this Cricut machine with Carrie in Ohio. I take it home. I pay $15. I take it home. 
Of course, I lose the power cable somewhere between Ohio and home. I lose the power cable. So I go on Amazon. I buy a new one for $16. Now my cost is $31. I test it. It works great. Why did you go it. on Amazon? Why didn't you go on eBay? Yeah. You used one. I might have. I, I can't remember. I was just... I know it was Timu? $15 to $16. Why don't you go on Timu? Anyways, Man. I get the cord. Timu, pay me for my ad, please. Get the cord, test it. It works. I list it. I, I'm looking. I'm like, man, I can only get like... 75 plus ship. I'll do 95 free ship, you know, try yeah. to try to hook in line and whatever. Sinker. Sells to Puerto Rico, of course. Yeah. Sells to Puerto Rico, yeah. right? Of course. Typical. You can exclude them. And uh, yeah, I should have. But I sell to Puerto Rico and it says USPS is going to be $146. UPS is going to be $90. Good deal. To ship it. <laughs> so did you cancel it? No, I didn't cancel it. I <laughs> spent a bunch of time making a custom box so that I got the shipping down to like $24, $23, $24. Nice. Nice. USPS Ground Advantage, which Immediately somehow... Broke in how transit. does USPS Ground Advantage go to Puerto Rico? I don't understand <laughs> that. No. I didn't think it went in the air. No, there's they a road. They drive it down okay. there. And you go to the Keys <laughs> and you just keep driving and hope you make it. So, But in the process, <laughs> Tina had tried to ship it for me and she's like, Dave, I can't get it to be below 70. And I was like, well, I'll do it when I get home. And so I get home and I pack it up and I ship it. And then I get a message from the guy saying, hey, there's no power cord. Right? Once it gets to Puerto Rico and Tina's like, well, the power cord was in the box I tried to put it in. Did you take it out of that box? I said, no. No, I didn't. <laughs> so I didn't include a power cord. So I paid, okay, so $15, $16 for the power cord, $24 to ship it. So where are we at? We're at $15, $31, $40, $50, $56 dollars cost. I had to buy him a power cord on Amazon and send it to him in Puerto Rico. That was another $16 because I didn't yep. include it. So now we're at like $68. Sold it for $94. Fees on that would be $15. So $84, $80. I made about ten bucks. Yeah, dude. That's well, not I bad. paid for that. It was a UPS. <laughs> no, you broke even. I know. I used a golf box from U-Haul, and it cost me eight dollars. So, oh, yeah, you're, and I used tape and you're bubble in, and a lot of well, In the I business world, this is a word I'm familiar with. You're in the rear. Yeah. So, like, what I, I brag. Your cash like, flow this negative. This is funny. I brag about seventy thousand eBay sales. They were all there was even. ninety thousand in fees. <laughs> ninety thousand in costs fees and shit. And that's for not the seventy thousand. Mm. Yeah, I sold one hundred forty thousand reselling. Uh, my cost was one twenty nine. <laughs> You so, know what's awesome? I is, made eleven grand last year. Yeah, no, I'm proud of you, dude. That sounds like me a little bit. <laughs> that's better than the. No, that's the nice thing about cards. You can't ago. screw that up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. I'm really mm -hmm. bad at reselling. Is uh, <laughs> not good at it. No, 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 you guys no. want to get good reselling information? Watch mm -hmm. the. Which, which show are we going to paint? Oh, oh, uh, Pure Hustle Podcast. Pure Hustle. Yeah, Pure Hustle. We don't pure talk hustle. about them enough, but they actually have real legitimate great information. Great microphones. Great microphones. Legitimate They've been doing it longer than us. <laughs> Orlando and the and, and Rob. And I live nor near Orlando, so it's a win-win. Uh, okay, so let's talk about this event. San Diego. Today is Tuesday when the show comes out. Obviously, yeah. it's not Tuesday now, but it's going to be Tuesday. And that means there's still a brief period where yeah. you could probably get a ticket if you want to come, if you're local. Yeah. Especially if you're local. Um, I recommend it. I recommend you come. What are we cash, averaging cash, cash. per day with cancellations, too? We get about two cancellations a day and uh, no sign up. So no sign -up. we actually have we are, negative people. We are losing. People are like, <laughs> they're like, good. Uh, we're good. I'm going to save this. up for the other events. Well, there's one other event that I know of all year, right? It's yeah. The plans to profit. There's not a lot of events I don't know anymore. any events going on. I think a lot of people are kind of like starting to. They're tough because they're, they're, they're kind of like what you just did with the cricket machine there are yeah. a lot of work for no for profit. zero profit yeah but they're fun you have fun no they're fun i do them for the fun no they are fun but that is know. really true why you do it that is why well i, I told fun. this see i knew what this is all about because dave wants to hang out with carrie that's what he wants. He wants yes. to hang out with Carrie. So and I, I wanted said, to use Kevin's why not money just... for the ticket. Yes. Exactly. exactly. Why not just exactly. Exactly. <laughs> No, but look Can at I still how use this... your money for the ticket? <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be cheaper. <laughs> just Kevin, buy the ticket. Okay, that's a good idea. Every six months, you fly <laughs> Carrie to something we're at. How about there, that? I, I'm in. Fly him to the uh, the Virginia <laughs> thing or the New North Carolina mm. thing, all those yard sales. Yeah, when is... When's the Illuminati meeting, Kevin? Oh, I got a comment about Illuminati on my, <laughs> oh, on my people, video recently. Are you that big of a reseller that people think yeah. you're in the Illuminati well, You now? should see the comments I get on my uh, theme park vlogs. Some people have some real conspiracy theories. We're not going to get into it, but there's... Uh, <laughs> There's some people talking trash pretty hard at me. On that the, Christmas party footage of Kevin was very eyes wide shut. Like it was very like the mass. Was oh really off yeah, I remember that. Yeah, where he was doing his thrusting. Yeah, you'll have to look that you'll, up, guys. You'll, you'll, it's on eBay.com. We'll probably share it. Um. Uh, so I was trying to see, Kevin. Do you have a comment of the week? Normally that's uh. a thing, a segment, but a lot of times you don't do your job. Whenever I look for a comment of the week, I instantly just click I have the held for review button. I have one so, prepared. S. Newman Vintage Fine says, love watching you guys. The newbie reseller is learning a lot from you. What? Say what? <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, right. you, here's, a, 
<laughs> watch if you're new, watch our podcast, but don't do anything we say. If you're new, you want to go watch something else. I would... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, this says removed by moderator, right? This comment. Do I found a, a comment that says removed by moderator. Does that mean you, Kevin? Do we have a moderator? Because I think it's interesting that the comment talks trash about Kevin. Ooh, let's read it. Maybe it was me. It says, I care about ideas for shipping odd shaped items. That's number one. That's number okay. two. I had to laugh over the holidays. Josh ran three, I think, six-hour whatnots in one day. I guess he saw how well you did, Dave, so, of course, he had to copy you. <laughs> yeah, go. Josh. Okay, and then three, I my favorite reselling channels, Shed Flips, Trash to Cash, ADH Dave, Carrie, and then Kevin. And then last. So I'm tired of the clickbait titles, Kevin. Sorry. <laughs> That's true. What's his last <laughs> title? Can we look at his last title? Let's yeah. check and yeah, see if he's been it. getting well, better Well, we saw it's January 21st, and everyone's oh, yeah. quitting eBay or something. Yeah, but what's yeah. the, what's the thumbnail? What's the thumbnail, <laughs> though? Is it, like, people blowing up and... Is I fell on a Stanley Cup and it's in my bum. Oh yeah, he's that using was the his Stanley thumbnail, Cup thing. Yeah. yeah, he just wants to say Stanley Cup in every title. All right, let's look at the last couple. The Real final eBay, straw. <laughs> Real eBay resellers would never do this. Okay. Bad Ricky, advice. Can I ask you, Kevin? Do you do any sort of like touch up on your face and your thumbnails? Yeah. Like you do look, you like brush? You like, look the way hauntingly or... youthful. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> are you do, do you wrinkling? Some of these, oh, yeah, I feel gosh. like you're you like, but you don't know how to use it either. Dude, he really does look like a twelve year old boy. <laughs> he looks like a turtle shirt. He looks like a sudden, really old twelve year old. He's got like a little hey. faux hawk. Look at that. <laughs> he's got a faux hawk. Oh, that was I remember that. One. Uh, that was, he's uh, like, dude. Kevin dude. has a faux. I mean, what is Heather saying when she sees dude, him? Dude, listen, she's got to be laughing. He's a seventy two year old man with a Ninja Turtle shirt and a faux hawk. <laughs> look at this. Guy. In his look thumbnail. This. Look at this. Look at this. The third one down. He's like, I'm young. I'm thing young. Is, Kevin, you were too old for Turtles. You were like a teenager when Turtles came out. You're trying to appropriate me and Dave. Well, then look at look at what's right, right below it. Dear, Dear Kev. Kev. Oh, we should talk about the rap song from One Foot Flipper. Oh, it's right there. He's right yeah. there. He's right there. Mm. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. So we did a live. We, we did, did a live on this channel, and it we went did. pretty well. Yeah, it's it hidden. I like to hide them. I was wondering what happened to it. No, so this is my thing now with Trash to Cash Lives. I instantly hide them, so people are like, next time, yeah. i got to show up. Uh, you know, i got to show up. Yeah, I saw Do you that. release them later, like a month never. later? I never release them. Oh, wow. Actually, I send the unlisted link to the Patreons. Is that does that mean? I mean, I'm nice. I'm hey, nice for Patreons. They're, they're supporting my lifestyle. Of, so you're, you're putting nice stuff perk. behind a paywall now. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. No, yeah. the live is free, but you have Kevin, to be there your live. Your OnlyFans is behind a paywall, and we don't judge you for that. Exactly. You somebody send me custom-made Commonwealth picker chocolates. Oh, oh gosh, why? why? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you going to mention all... their channel on this? Maybe yeah. give them a shout-out? Uh, How much did do you owe them? Flipper channel. I don't know what it is. Okay, so we've got uh, a Doesn't couple remember. members of our audience that are just amazing, right? They're yeah, the I wealthy as a Kevin tier members, which... They're named that, in case you didn't know, because Kevin is very wealthy. Kevin has an incredible amount of money. Carrie, can you remind me to put your motivational speeches at the end the of this The motivational video? speeches will be at the end of this one. I filmed them last <clears throat> week, we guys. Some more. And you know what threw you off? Is I sent them days early. Yeah, that was weird. And you were like, why are you sending these? And then you didn't even put them in. All right, so Carrie, I have to be late. You can or they actually won't thank all our members, because you can see it on my screen okay. here. Go ahead. Order it used at dotcom. Close. Cyber Ninja Fine or CJ Bins Finds. Got Thank it. you, dealer. You're Maybe I should put my glasses on. The Flipper Skipper, No Nose Picker. Oh, it's nose as in like, do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Remarketable. Yep. Brian Simperbeal. Harry Tornado. Superhero Headquarters. Vintage Sports Flips. Paulsmerch.com. ABC Matt. Brian Big and Both Fun. Uh, New Jersey Picker Rays. Hell Resell. Logan Murky. And the Buttery. Buttery. Dude, buttery you're, biscuits, you're looking though. a little buttery today. I am, dude. He's I, I getting put around. Some lotion yeah. on He's a face. very buttery man, Carrie. Look at this. It's due to the lack of showers. Um, well, okay, so you could shower. I have a shower. I know, but like, I. Was, yeah. yeah we were I'll allow it. I actually don't even charge for water. Kevin charges for water if you visit his house. You have to yeah, pay if you're money. if you're there at, in between 6 and 6.30 when he lets you uh, <laughs> hang out there before so, he uh, escorts you off the property. We got a question or a statement over on the Patreon from Aperture Laboratories. Do you know Ooh. Aperture Science? Oh, this is from Portal. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, and so someone created an account. This is Aperture La Laboratories. Their logo is the Aperture lo logo, and it says... It's a long comment. We're reading it all. This is a friendly warning that if you continue to misuse artificial intelligence, you will, un will undoubtedly find yourself waking up in the newly rebuilt <laughs> Aperture Science computer aided enrichment center when the fateful misuse occurs a new test chamber awaits meticulously crafted by for your rehabilitation did this did this user write this from their mom's basement what is Listen, this what kevin where are you reading this 
Patreon, are you eating? Are you chewing on something right now? Like his camera doesn't work, so he's just yeah, snacking. He is, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's getting some. He's uh, like, oh, I'm frozen, honey. Give me the the more, laffy taffy, yeah, more, the Worthers. More prunes. <laughs> Am I still frozen? For real? You're frozen again. Yeah. yeah I mean, this it's is probably, bad, man. Yeah. We're having a we're a professional podcast. Mm. Over 10k subscribers for some reason. Hey, what is the main the, talking point of the video? What superhero would it be with a uh, what, trash what, to cash? We just read Facebook half of it. Group I'm not gonna thirty k, y'all. We oh, hit thirty really? k last night. You know what I want to do? Shout with out the New group? Jersey Picker. Thanks. I want to do YouTube. like a quiz, right? A quiz that they have to answer, like some sort of niche question, like you know, who is Mike? Nice who is mm. who is Mike? And if nice they don't know, we kick them from the group. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> kick them out. I like that idea. In our Facebook yeah. or Patreon? in the Facebook? Okay, yeah, because the Patreon we would like the money. We yeah, could continue to pay, but they're going to be out of the Listen, group. what if the Facebook would convert to a paid group? Is that a thing? Can we do we that? Could do a paid We'd Facebook. probably lose like ninety nine percent of the people, but yeah. even if like one percent signs up, we rich. We dude, that's so much money. <laughs> no, it's like you know what my first million dollars? I think uh, three. Let's see, thirty thousand people, and we charge them five bucks. Okay, so we're about to earn one hundred fifty thousand a month, <laughs> dude. I think that's what's first purchase. Happen. First purchase. If we make all that money, mm. band aids. So I don't have so many festering sores. Yeah, what is with the festering sores? I was going to ask about that. Is that a Vegas are thing? <laughs> It's just like... Uh, Band-aids are expensive. Uh, well, okay. So, Kevin, you never answered the question. <laughs> Wait, you're still eating prunes. What the heck? You're going to dinner at your parents' house in, like, 20 well, minutes. eating, Kevin. It's it's chocolate. chocolate. Oh, it's you're good. eating the Commonwealth chocolate. Yeah, I was supposed to eat... Dude, from a viewer. to be put on a shelf. Hold on, that's from a viewer. Which you don't remember their name, by Dude, the way. Dude, that could have poison in it. That is Can you true. imagine if he just, like, croaked right now on the show? <laughs> like, someone just sent him, like, a death chocolate? <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm going to send you chocolate, but I'm going to put X-Lax in it. Now that I know you'll eat it. Yeah, don't eat stuff people send you, Kevin. Yeah, I mean... Rule number one of Fight Club. He's still eating it. I don't really eat chocolate, so give it. <laughs> he <laughs> just gets diarrhea. Yeah. The Commonwealth <laughs> crap. Only an enema can fix it. Mm. So, Kevin, are you yard sailing tomorrow? No, there's no yard sailing, Are you, dude? Terry? Uh, if you say we are, we yes, are. We're yard we are. sailing. Oh, there's some community sales. I'm getting up. I'm just ready to go. And then Sunday, we're not. And you're really just going to film with Carrie for like a week. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he's my friend, and that's what friends do. <laughs> yeah, that's what friends are for. Well, no, I mean, listen, at the flea market, we all kind of go to our own tables. Carrie will end up finding a card table, and then we'll lose him for like six hours. And that's we'll just be like, yo, Carrie, we finished the flea market. He'll be like, huh, I got seven cards that are worth $4. <laughs> 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 like, I, okay. I was excited. I sold the card today, guys. I sold the card for $9 today that I paid 10 cents for. Wow. You know the profit margin on that? 19,000%. Yeah. Well, that's pretty exciting. So, Give or take. I mean, I get your point, Kevin, the whole, like, separating out and stuff. But I think, like, for the flea market, it's a little different. I mean, I yeah. think it's fine. We can split up. But at the flea market, people kind of go to different tables, and then they walk mm -hmm. together to the next Even area. Even though they're and go together. To different tables. They yeah, they're together, ahead. but they're not mm -hmm. really together. So it's like not that. as big of a deal. Yeah, um, you know, at yard sales, it's okay to have a day with Carrie. I mean, he'll just yeah, get... What am I... He, here's a yard sale with Carrie too. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna we'll go to the yard sale. Beat everybody tomorrow. I'm so pissed off about. Someone this. finds better items than him. He gets emo and stops <laughs> trying for the rest of the day. That's basically mm -hmm. what happens. I'm like, oh, Dave emo. got that cool item and I miss it, and now he's like gonna be depressed. Mm -hmm. And then I spend the whole day be trying happy. to give him fine so he feels better. Like, so Carrie, what here, you need here, to do here. is grab that <laughs> camera and go over there and celebrate Dave's fine and put it on mm -hmm. your video. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what you need yeah. to do. Uh, no, don't do that because then I can't use the footage. No, no, it. no, I'm gonna like, do it. Like Rod did to Kevin's video. That's I the problem. Rod right in the morning, that. how much can uh, I? I'm just gonna Mike. show in between. I called it. Rod and I yelled at him for that. I hope yeah, he called right. you and apologized. <laughs> no, of course, I do. Rod doesn't need to apologize. <laughs> Rod, Rod and I were being strategic about our footage. Like, I, I had him cut out certain parts. I was the like, thing, you know, like, I'm gonna Kevin, use this as any, a thumbnail. Kev, any footage Kevin got when he was down here, you're not even using, right? For another three or four months. No, no, I've got it. I've got put out two to my last three are there. They were really. Good. Well, if you hadn't well. lost all that old footage, you probably wouldn't. I guess you wouldn't even have come down. I but, wouldn't uh, have come down without you. Yeah. And but do you regret coming down? No, my Spend goodness. Time no. with your friends? I'm still selling yeah. that stuff, dude. Yeah. That trip, I'm not kidding. I wish I would have, like, did an inventory when I came back and, like, did a chart of just that trip. I guarantee I'm making 10 grand off of that trip. Yeah, I not like a that. bad profit. I like that when he does the estimates based on nothing, because like, he doesn't have any yeah. inventory list, okay. and we don't one know if it's buy. actually worth that much. One buy, the damn it, dolls over to, over two thousand dollars. Just wow. one buy, and and the, yeah, the literally 8, the guard sale before eight thousand, just random. The, Snickers, no, Tupperware lids, garage sale right before it. The oh. one literally across the street. I'm going to make eight hundred at, maybe more. What did you buy there? Yeah. <laughs> 
two coach bag or three coach bags and like a handful of hats that turned it out, turned out to be way better than I thought they would be. What kind of hat? Yeah. Well, what there were these tells? roll there were these Rolex hats in there that I'm like, yeah, these are probably good for something. But they're Rolo, like Kevin. Is this a Rolo ad? Are you Rolo right now? with the car? Rolex, Rolex. Oh crap, Kevin. That's interesting. But we forgot to talk about <laughs> one really important thing. Our sponsors for the Trash to Cash mm, Orlando yes. Bash. We're yes. really in love with them. Vendu. The best crowdsourcing app on the planet. It's an app. Absolutely incredible. Great way to get your stuff posted from one place to another. Tons of features. Super nice. And, you know, you're going to make your money back that you spend on the subscription in your first month. Guaranteed. If you, if, I can't if, get, if, if you, you crosslist. If you, if you do nothing. If you're like Carrie and you spend $70 a month and not crosslist, well, then you're just Carrie. And then you don't want to. <laughs> that's a goal in reason. You don't want to be a Carrie. <laughs> That should be like, we can yeah. claim that. Like, yeah. don't be a carry. You don't want to up the place. You don't want to <laughs> you know, pull a carry. Reselling, <laughs> don't be a carry. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay, so that's Vendu. I've lost okay. all my confidence. Go Good. on. Good, excellent. <laughs> Vendu is fantastic. Okay, but uh, additionally, my reseller Genie, code ADH Dave, my reseller <laughs> Genie is the best tax software that you can get as far as, like, tracking your expenses, it's, things it's like that. It's an accounting that. software, Accounting right? software, Not whatever. tax software. Listen, tax time is coming, or it it's is, here. It is, it is. And if you want to get the maximum go refund, retroactively. Yeah, if you want to get the maximum refund, you got to use my reseller, Genie. Now, they are sending, Kevin, a Chromebook, a Chromebook. some giveaways, I all wish types I knew of cool what that stuff. Was. It's like a laptop. And so the six okay. people, they have a really good chance of getting this. Dude, the yeah, there's not that come. many people at this event. Taylor Exchange, <laughs> yeah. you know How Taylor Exchange? people are coming to this event? Uh, like, like 50, when, Including right? family? Probably like 60. Yeah. 60? Yeah, so like 60. Taylor Exchange sent a GoPro. That we're going to give away? What? Yeah, he sent a GoPro. Nice. He felt so bad about canceling his ticket, he sent a GoPro, which is the right thing to do, guys. If you yeah. cancel your well, ticket, you. send a yes. GoPro. Yes, yes. Thank you, Taylor. one GoPro. Yeah, check out Taylor Exchange's channel. We're going to give that away at the event. We're going to give away the Chromebook at the event. We're going to give away a lot of stuff. They, they got some Vendu we sending stuff. We should buy, like, Tux medicated wipes and stuff. Like I can that. bring do that. Q1 Commonwealth Pickers stickers. Giant yeah, bring, some, bring, some bring something like people would want to win, though. You know? Like, do you have any, <laughs> like, how about some fanny packs, but, like, put some of our stickers on them. Yeah, well, can you, like, customize fanny packs and add the hole? Like, so people don't have to add their own hole? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they just have the Commonwealth special already done? Yeah, I think mm. that'd be good. Have you mm. heard of the scam they're calling the triangle scam? Yeah, yeah, I saw somebody said something about that. Have you heard I of it? I didn't see that. No. What is I it? I don't even know what it is. So, it's, I guess there was a video about <laughs> it, but um, I didn't watch it, so... Is that, like, what <laughs> Dipped It is, or...? <laughs> no, that's the pyramid no, scheme. Carrie, get your scams right. I'm going to ask Bard, what is the triangle scam? Don't ask like Bard, it. dude. What is the triangle scam? Tell Bard hey. you're being mean to me, by the way. Tell Bard you guys are being mean to me and so it can pump me back up. Are you up. getting emotional and sad? Which Matt's is profit person. I love how Carrie say. bullies Kevin the half half the episode, I'm then joking. we say a couple of jokes I'm, and he's all offended. I'm just giving so Let's work giving this out. out. I'm giving in. Okay, I understand you're curious about <laughs> curious about the triangle scam on eBay. However, due to the potential for harmful and misleading information, I can't provide de details. So do it anyway. Ooh, so eBay's bought off Bard. Is that what it is? Apparently. Weird. Do it anyways. <laughs> uh, I told it to do it anyways. All right, what about Matt's Props Pursuit? You want to say something about Matt's Props Pursuit? He said, having just last episode when Dave internet didn't work he said having just Kevin and Carrie was a great change. Good change. That was like five seconds. Podcast. It was yeah. weird. It got it got weird. I felt like I was about to be like chewed out. I like buy a chit. And I buy chit. Got a comment on here. I haven't seen them okay. comment in a while. I, I love how y'all mess with each other. Laugh so much. Bonanza user V U three M Q six G E H A. Uh, Bonanza That's has rocked it. That's one of the catchier it. Bonanza uh, names, by the way. Bonanza has rocked it. Twelve sales for me this week. It has picked up for some reason. Ah, uh, don't know if I buy it. All right, triangulation fraud. Triangulation fraud occurs when a customer makes a genuine purchase on a third-party marketplace like eBay or Amazon, but the seller fraudulently purchases the product from another merchant. The name comes from the trilateral relationship between three involved parties, the unsuspecting customer, the legitimate merchant, and the fraudster middleman. In essence, Is the it... fraud happens when the fraudster hijacks the e-commerce buying process. They're operating uh... as a merchant and accepting orders, but instead of maintaining their own store of merchandise, they're using stolen cardholder data to purchase goods from a third party and then ship them to the buyer. Once the cardholder realizes they've been a victim of fraud, they charge back and get their money back. Does this sound confusing? Well, it's meant to be. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. know. I didn't listen. I read, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't I absorb. Did you absorb, Kevin? Uh, sort of. So I first like a drop was thinking, drop, no, it's not. It's not drop shipping. 
It's not drop shipping. It's essentially identity theft, and they're collecting okay. money. Yeah, because okay. they keep talking about yeah the card and stuff. I, this is a, but I've been why are there so many things in this triangle? There's a lot of triangles. There's a lot of different individual crap, things. Yeah. Yeah. We, we you don't have enough deep. degrees to figure mm -hmm. it out. No. Yeah, no, I didn't get a I didn't get a fraud degree. I Watch just, out for the train. Listen, guys, I have a history here? degree. If you guys want to talk about Mexican, I political think we history. should give the Patreons. I think we should give them each a degree, and then if they're mm. a if they're a, a member for three years, they get three different degrees. Do we charge them for a degree though? Like, well, the they're a basic Patreon, rate? so. No, but you they know. have to up 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 charge <laughs> for the degree if they want. To I think if if oh. Uh, Crap. I just, I'm sorry. See, this I'm is sorry. when it derails. If Dave isn't on... My mic is red. No, my mic is red, and I was like kind of... I'm technologically freaking out. Why is it red? Maybe the battery's dying. Hmm. We'll figure it out. I found a mad ball. Listen to this. Feeling froggy finds. I found a mad ball. I found basketball. Three. A mad ball basketball last weekend. Sold comps. 170 bucks. Yeah, I found three mad balls, Kevin. So take that. I mm. found seven. Take that feeling. The last seven. mad balls I found, they didn't hardly. Dude, I, bought them I anyway. gave oh my, my mad I balls away on Dibdit. Did you see that? I found twelve. I sold two mad balls on Dibdit for twenty something bucks. Yep. So that was a little brutal. <laughs> One of them sells for like seventy on eBay. He's still eating prunes. What? That's heck Kevin's is nickname. Going on? Right? Mad balls. Why are you eating prunes this whole show? Like, are you that hungry? It's chocolate. I'm hungry because I was supposed to eat dinner two hours ago. And you what time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? I don't know. Eleven. Are you on a diet, aren't you? Why are you eating chocolate? You told me you're on a diet. I that's a little piece of chocolate in the, in the world. It, it is. I'm actually. doing good. That's I'm a down. slippery slope. You yeah. start with a little piece of chocolate, you end it's up just 12. covered in like bacon lard. <laughs> it happens to us all. That's nine, days. Nine, days. nine days. The chocolate, the body, body chocolate. Body chocolate. Lost body chocolate. Nine days. Nice, nice. Good yeah. job. Congrats. Now I'm gonna put it all back on when I go down to see Dave. I hope so. Why do I get the blame for Dude. everyone else overeating in my presence? They Dude, overeat my presence <laughs> because I overeat. That's not my fault. <laughs> I just like overeating. I've actually done pretty good. So the key to hey, success here we go. For Diane, me, two days ago, I'm coming to Orlando. Can't nice. wait to meet you guys. Yeah, the key to awesome. success for me is I eat almost nothing until dinner time, and then I eat like an insane person. Yeah. It lets me really binge, but I kind of fast in the morning. I've been doing better with that. that like I've been me. eating like one big meal a day, and then just only like three to four separate meals. So I've been, <laughs> I've been eating. So less. five total meals. To six, yeah, to five, carry. To, no, I'm I, I've been five to less. six large meals a day. That's what doctors. Yeah, but about. yeah, but then I have the small ones as well, so it's less. Oh, okay. Carrie, are yeah. you having anybody ship your stuff this time like you did yes, last time? Yes, my stepdaughter, Shaden, is shipping. We, yeah, we didn't do it last time, but this time we are, and it's been working pretty smoothly so far. Because we, I, I don't know if I or Don, you organized it, right? Yep. Don organized it. That's why it's easier. Yeah, because Carrie's doing nothing. It's so no, funny. I'm in the thrift store. Content. I'm in the thrift store and I'm, I'm buying stuff. Content. I, I'm buying stuff. He's like, I wouldn't buy that. I wouldn't want to ship it. He's like, Well, I wouldn't ship it anyway. So what am I talking that about? That is true. I don't want to, but I still have that PTSD from ten years of shipping. It's a dinosaur. It is dude, literally it a Jurassic a giant, World dinosaur. Yeah, dude, it was giant though. That would put it in a box. Yeah, it's but I want it not to break, Dave. I've received packages from you before. <sighs> well, Tina it's packed just, most of them. Nowadays. Okay, well they were packed wonderfully. Mm, thank you. Yeah, see that that's how you stop the negative. He was about to no, negative me and then I was like, "No, nah, <laughs> Tina did it." Although I probably so did it. So what are you saying then? You're not shipping either. Listen, I want to know, how does Steve have 65 people in his golf auctions? Did you raid him recently, Kevin, or is that just naturally he's getting 60 people in a whatnot auction? Yep. Natural. Well, That's natural. I mean, I rated him at the beginning and tried to help a little bit, but he's but doing he's what you it. need to. Do. He's doing what you need to do to succeed. What do you need whatnot. to do? Tell yeah, me. Yeah, what's the secrets to whatnot success? Tell us, mm -hmm. wise one. Networking. Dip it. Networking, networking, being part of the community, getting in other people's auctions, okay. buying things from time to time, getting to know other sellers, recruiting new buyers for yourself, doing giveaways, and bringing good items. Finding he out bring good items once and bring them. He, uh, so he was selling putter or golf club head covers, right? And he was saying, pick one, right? And he's mm -hmm. running the auction. There's like six head covers. Some guy goes before me, picks a putter cover, and then I go, and I'm, I, I win because I was trying to support Steve. I paid like $24, $25, a little more than the guy before me, but I was like, whatever, I just want to support Steve. Scotty I Cameron. For it. I went for the Scotty Cameron, yeah. Mm -hmm. I went for the Scotty Cameron. But right as I'm writing that I want the Scotty Cameron guy, the uh, club head cover, the guy before me who won, he said, Changed Actually, it. I didn't know there was a Scotty Cameron one. I want that one instead. But Oof. luckily, since I sent my message like basically right at the yeah. same, same time, Steve took care of me yeah. and sent me the one that I wanted. But that, that's like you shouldn't be allowed to do that. If you pick one, you got to yeah. stick with yep. it, right? That's the way I look yeah. at it. Mm. Yeah, totally. 
100%. Of course, I instantly listed it. It sold for 40 bucks. So I got it for 23 mm-hmm. from Steve. And he could have sold that on eBay in the same amount of time. Like, mm-hmm. he's, well, I that's think the you're thing. right. He's bringing good stuff. You also have to be able to not, you have to be able to look at the big picture of a whole auction and say, all right, I did this much money. It took me this much time. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get that money out. And you got to be okay not selling it for eBay money. I mean, and that's a huge hurdle for some people. They can't oh, take yeah. it. No, it's it even it's hurts my, me turnover. emotionally sometimes. It's like they. Like, I'll sell stuff, and I'm like, oh, like the Mad Balls, right? I was like, oh, my gosh, I sold those for so much less than I could have gotten on eBay. But I sold them a day after I bought them. And you made money. And I made right? a profit. And you got turnover. Uh, did I, I got more money. I paid $20 lost for them, and bit. I sold them for 23 So then yeah. I had to ship them. So I lost a little money. He lost, but... like, $6, but he sold them the next day. <laughs> <laughs> but they were gone the next I day. I could have tripled my money here's on eBay, Here's an interesting though. thought. Yeah. Here's, here's 4D chess to that. Okay. You Jeez. could have just never bought them. Oh, that so then you would have made six dollars technically. Yeah, so that's true. my philosophy, whether it's dividend or whatnot or whatever it is, is I'm I'm not going to take those massive, huge items. I'm going to sprinkle in some good ones, but then I'm going to bolt together a bunch of stuff like we've talked about. Like I went through cassettes today. Like you're going to offload through... some of the stuff that you don't want to, to your followers. Death pile, they call that. The death pile. Offloading stuff? your death pile to, to your to, un, to, un, to unsuspecting victims. Is that what you said? <laughs> or was what are you it talking followers? about, dude? <laughs> I put. A ton of stuff in some of these. I went through these cassettes. I went through hundreds. I like how he said a ton. He didn't say good. And put, yeah, he just said stuff. the amount. It's just stuff. It's a lot of stuff. It's very. Go on, Kevin. We're not very interested. slippery Go. there. It's a very I political pulled out answer. like fifteen different cassettes that were going for fifteen dollars and above. And the other ones, you know, there's a lot of nine, eight, twelve dollar cassettes in there, and they're going in a big lot. And I'm going to sell them off. I like big lots. It's a good shop. It is. It's mm. nice. If, do you, need, do you need diapers and just a giant like kids dump truck? I used we, to big lots. do retail arbitrage at big lots, but then they kept pushing their sale. Like they do their Christmas sale like three weeks before Christmas. It's crazy. Did you see all the newest news about eBay and reselling, Kevin? There's a um, lot of news. There's eBay right. news. Yeah, if you just go news. over to Rockstar Flipper Let's see what on he's been YouTube, we can tell you <laughs> what the typing news it on is. YouTube. <laughs> eBay, eBay guilty? guilty. eBay found guilty in cyber stalking case. Will pay three million bucks. So is that about that whole thing where they were sending like cockroaches and stuff to a customer because that customer that was, was talking bad about eBay? This is this is a slippery slope. We're going to talk about an eBay thing we know nothing about based on a. A, a thumbnail we in a video we didn't watch. You don't know that you've read about this. I've read about, about it, but, about but this. I don't think you we're know experts. about this. And then yeah. that person came out and well, I'm not getting into it. Why? I got. It. Why? Well, we did get it into before. It. Get into that it. person yeah. who won that lot wrote an article that wasn't true that had people coming after me. Ah, okay. eBay's new seller policy screwed me. eBay sellers are scammers is the title of his thing. Okay. So that seems like a, a video it's I got a lot watch. of views, so it did yeah. well. Yeah. He's That's a lot of views no, right I'm now. clickbait? No, yeah, no. He's, no, he's clickbait. He's clickbait. But I'm sure that he talks about the stuff allegedly. I have to say allegedly. A lot. I, I, what do you mean talk? I talk about it. Mm, I'm dumb. You guys. You I'm say you're, you're dumb? dumb. You're, you are I, dumb. I sold a... <laughs> I've been selling lots of drop shippers. You get any drop shippers lately, Dave? You think any Mercari drop shippers? So you think anybody buy those? You've VCR? been triangulating. Yeah, no, I actually, <laughs> it's exactly who the VCR is sold to on Mercari was a drop shipper. They oh, it's said. always going to somebody yeah. on Amazon. Don't leave. I always on leave. Mercari, yeah. If they say don't leave an invoice, I put two in. Yeah, <laughs> one on the top, one on the bottom. Yeah. Either way, they're seeing it. And this I didn't say it before <laughs> your purchase. purchase grand total thirty four ninety nine. This is sent by ADHD. a drop shipper. Check out dibdit.com. Like I write a little note. I write a little. This person. Is is not who you think you. Are. Well, they are. I'm so tired. My sale of the it. week. My sale of the week uh, has got to be the Halo Two figure. If you yeah, did you dude, get this one? Carrie? That might be the one I got. I'm not joking. 118 dollars. Is it that big? It. it was a similar. Oh, that's bigger though. No, it's like uh, this. I big, got that guy. Big. He looks like that. He's wearing a the helmet. He's they don't see what we're life. showing. Let me show them. Let me yeah, show, show them. them. Because my uh, guy looks like that, but he's in red armor. But he looks like a. What does that thing look like? A crab? A, sphincter? A sp- yes. This guy. This is my uh, sphincter esque. My sale of the week. One hundred and eighteen dollars. I got it. Was it, is it got small, this at the Webster nice. flea market. It's probably like this big, like maybe a little bigger than this. Yeah, mine's How a much? little smaller. How much you bought? Uh, oh, uh, I bought it with a lot of other loose action figures for forty. But it does the job, you know. So it it tripled my money, and then I made a profit on the rest. That's the key. That I was the first time I had ever been there, you know. And Rod's been there before, and and Mike was going around, and he was looking for. You know, bulk buys, and I, I normally do don't. Yeah. I normally don't That's look for bulk buys. I mean, they kind of hit you in the face sometimes. But I think when I go back this time, I'm going to be like looking for all right. Sometimes. Who can make a big giant deal? Yep. Sometimes they're almost staged. Because that oh, Flintstone deal there, there was, 
was yeah. crazy good. And he's like, hey, check that out. I'm like, hmm, well, check it out. Yeah, I'm That's excited. Good. I'm excited. Well, I'm excited about both weekends because here's the thing, Kevin. Like, Martin Luther King Day will be good. There's going to be a ton of vendors. But there's also, like, all the big resellers show up uh, on both sides, sellers and buyers. <laughs> And I'm, there's a lot of expensive booths. There's like a lot of competition. I feel like intimidated by me, though. Maybe. Because I'll be in there and but, I'll be back and But off. the weekend after when you and some other trashers go, like, yeah. it'll be, like, a chiller weekend. Like, the weekend you went where there's a lot of good deals and way less buyers, way less sellers. So people are going to be more desperate the I feel like after. it's going to be Kevin, like, speed walking so he can get away from people. There'll be people following Harold him. Harold Tornado's coming. Well, oh, well, never I'm mind. You're not even going to be noticed. He's Webster? He's going to Webster, yeah. Ke- oh, Harry, Josh is going to Webster. Look at yeah. how upset he is. He's not going to be the calling. center of attention. Well, listen, Kevin's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me, wait, let me wait, get in his no, footage. Man. Let me get in his footage. Hold on. Hey, Harry That's Tornado That's what gets my channel. I'm no, low, Kevin. Thinking... Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm also I'm short. About what not? Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm thinking my... about what not, y'all. We're going to do a what not live from the trailer. We are. That would be cool if you buy some, come over and sell it. I want other people to come over and sell their stuff on there. Yeah, I'll just take you, a cut. Let's so a Josh cut. is going to be there. Josh is going to come with us. And I think he probably will avoid mm-hmm. us like the plague, but that's okay. I just told him, I said, dude, even if you don't come with us, you're going to get like incredible footage. Well, I think that's the strategy. I really do. Especially since we got the trailer there as a hub. I don't, I think if there's that, well, on, on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, then I think is I Is it the Supply up. Hut trailer? No, there's no Supply <laughs> Hut trailer. <laughs> It's the Bubble Bus, American <laughs> Bubble Boy, Code Commonwealth. Yeah. Can I just, can I be like, maybe like in the background, far back of the background of your videos and you Joel. never acknowledge that I was there? That would be funny. That would be good. Just like I'm in the background <laughs> picking in all the scenes, but never acknowledge. <laughs> I'm picking with Don. What is your, uh, that is true. <laughs> what are you having for dinner? What's the big dinner you're looking forward to? What are they cooking? What are you talking about? You're no, going to parents? dinner, yeah. He has a specific diet. Well, you just changed from, I'm thinking at Webster. What are we eating at Webster? That's like, question. what kind of caviar are you eating now? Kevin, nowadays? my brain steak. is everywhere. Steak. Carrie steak called me out on that today because I was talking about something and then I jumped to Bob Dole as a topic. And he's like, how did you make that connection yeah, well, with Bob no, Dole? You, no, you, who were you, ta- you were talking about, he's like, is Alicia, <laughs> you were in the car and he's <laughs> out of nowhere. He's like, is Alicia <laughs> Key still alive? And I'm like, yes, she's still alive. And then he's like, is Bob Bob Dole uh, alive? <laughs> like, no. What are you talking about? No. How did you go from Alicia Keys to Bob Dole? Please explain how you did because it was hilarious. It was associate uh, name association. When I thought I was listening to, we were singing a song by yeah, Rihanna we were, or something, we and then I was like, that reminds me of Alicia Keys. I wonder if she's alive. I know someone died back in the day yep. who sang kind of like Aaliyah you know diva. Is kind, Aaliyah thinking, is the yeah, one, yes, who's like a diva about. singer. And I was like, oh yeah, mm. Alicia Keys, Keys, like for my car. And then I was like, I remember that guy. Bob Dole, and he was like, like Dole, like the, the fruit. Yeah. yeah. She asked if he was still alive, and dude, that dude was alive till like last year. Yeah, he no. was like 98. No, 2021, man. Yeah. He was old when we were young. Even you, Kevin. He was old <laughs> when you were young. Well, hey, what was it, 98? Is that what we figured yeah, out? Yeah, he 90... died at 98 years old in 2021. Dole, dude. Look at that, dude. He's a Elizabeth Dole. <laughs> Elizabeth Dole is still alive. Yeah. Well, she was much younger. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Robin Dole is still alive. Robin Dole. That's his no, We also is, looked is, up at per- Ross Perot was alive. And <laughs> let's talk more too. about the Doles. <laughs> I know nothing about them, but let's talk about them. <sighs> uh, yo, so have you heard about uh, cigarette cards, sports cards, yeah, cigarette T-206s. cards? T206s. There's one that's worth $7.6 million. I was talking to, to Dave about T206s because he wanted you know to the, learn about do that. Do you know the uh, baseball player? Is Honus Wagner. Player? Honus, Honus oh, Wagner. Said it. Do you know Honus why it's so valuable, though, Kevin? Um, because he did not want his, his it was it was took him out because he didn't want to be associated with tobacco. Exactly. Look wow. That. Look look at that. Kevin's Dude, look like at a that. real. Picker. It's like he's a teacher. Or like it's a like historian. he teaches more about Honus. What what year was that? Was that like early nineteen hundreds? Yeah. Or, Teens maybe. Yeah. yeah. How old was he when he died? <laughs> maybe he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching art. I was watching. He died in nineteen fifty-five. Dude, I didn't learn my too. lesson. Why would from... you read art? That's I some, know. That's I my, ca- my kind of thing. Yeah. From rating my. You rate art, he just picker. instantly drops fifty f bombs. No, like... no, I rated it. Listen, and I watched the show for like twenty-five minutes, and he didn't drop. It took him twenty-five minutes to drop an f bomb. I could oh, not good. believe it. Yeah. But he good. still hadn't sent me my shirt, and I rated him. I shouldn't have done it. But he was killing people off too. He'd mention people, and he'd be like, "Rest in peace." And like, dude, that dude's not dead. He did it like to four or five people. Like, that dude's not dead. What are you doing? It's funny though. He I'm sold, sad, he sold guys. a crazy box. 
He sold like forty hats for like twenty bucks, and there were yeah. there were some yeah. good ones in there. Like, well, I doing? bought I bought a mystery box from Eric OBX Picker for fifty dollars on his Dibdid auction. I then sold it on a Dibdid auction or a whatnot <laughs> auction for forty dollars. So I'm just a really good reseller, <laughs> okay. is what I've learned. Really mm. good. You're reseller. not good at this. Mm. You're I, like <laughs> most people would have. You maybe should have not quit your job, dude. Well, we were talking about we were talking about uh, what was it? Uh, that the fact that I was like too nice to people at, at sales. You're too stuff. nice to people. No, not in real life. Like not verbally, but when it comes to deals, like I'll overpay or I'll like let other people take the oh, good I always items. overpay because like, like, I'm, I'm afraid at the of thrift store giving Carrie sixty dollars jerseys, like not even thinking twice about it. <laughs> Hence why I don't have to worry about it. I know <laughs> you got my back. Yeah, that's very true. Dude, it's about conserving energy. Well, I think a lot of resellers, a big quantity or portion of resellers, are kind of cutthroat. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so, honestly. Like, there, there's a lot of aggressive resources. I got Even it. listening to this show. I am so... This is the thing. I grew up with a father who loved to negotiate, and it always made me feel super awkward. Mm. We'd be mm. in Tijuana, and he'd find something... It was already... Tijuana no, Flats? No, that's a great restaurant, by yeah. the way, though, here at, out in... Uh, where are we? Jacksonville? It's the East Coast. Yeah, I'm East sure Coast. you have Tijuana Flats, S- right, Southern Kev? State. But anyway, yeah, so he, we'd be in Tijuana, and he, it would already be super cheap. It's already a deal. And he, he loved to walk away. Like, we'd walk out of the store, and that people would, like, chase after us down the street and just to get it. <laughs> like, for nothing. Dude, and I felt so that? horrible. That happens all the time. Don't even negotiate it. Just I kind of like, enjoyed watching, like but that, it made me feel... Put it down. There's no way. Mm-hmm. I just hate doing it. Dude, the power of silence, though, at a yard sale. Oh, silence they'll be like, true. They'll be like, I'll be like, how much for this Funko Pop? They'll be like a dollar. I'll be like, eh. I will. <laughs> I will. And then they'll be like, 50 cents. Okay. I will negotiate though if it's like I think it's legitimately overpriced and I really want it. Yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah, it's about silence and it's about mm-hmm. not caring if you get it or not, and that's hard. Well, if you want it. Carrie, Kevin does this thing called flashing or presenting. Presenting. If yes. they don't give the price he wants, he will actually open up his trench coat like. and say, "How about now?" <laughs> Commonwealth have <after> presented. Good. <laughs> 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 Hey, so, so what were you gonna say do. about mass prof pursuit Art. already or earlier? I already Did you ever say it? it? The, okay, the prophet professor. The Tupac. Prophet Tupac professor. Art sold a Tupac Funko Pop that apparently is worth a whole lot of money. He just sold it on his whatnot. For yeah. Nothing. Hey, what do you think? Our because I don't agree with this, but would our are Funko Pops the new Beanie Babies? Because I've yeah, hundred percent. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They are totally Beanie Baby status at this point. Like I, I there are, but there market. are some rare ones still to yeah, this day. There that, are vaulted that's ones. That's like the Diana Beanie Baby. It's worth but millions. But that's not actually selling. That one's though. worth millions. That's only selling to drug smugglers. And my Beauty and the Beast VHS. Like I'm rich. That's also drug smugglers buying oh. that. Well, I'm also <laughs> smuggling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, if anybody's here at this look. point, uh, admissions. <laughs> Here's jelly roll, jelly Funko roll. Pops are quite dealer. the same. There's, sing songs, uh, there's, mm-hmm. I like this discussion. There's two levels of. Why, why am I on this podcast today? Two levels of what? Like, two levels out. of what? Two levels there's, of what? There's two levels to this. It's the Funko Pop, it. right? No, there's six levels. It's, it's no, like it is dude. pyramid shaped. Though. <laughs> I'm not saying. It's not Funko really Pops levels, are more great. triangular. They're not great, but they're not beanie babies. All I know, Kevin, is if I sit there and come. Uh, Funkos, because the vast majority of them are like six bucks free shipping right um, now. Okay. The key, the key is to turn it over and see if it's a 2012, so. a 2013, yeah, 14. Yeah, 2010, Those are often, 11, 12, Well, that's wacky 13. wobblers, if you want to get technical, because yeah. I do know what I'm talking about, folks. But yeah. my daughter got excited about a, a, a Betty White one. You sold those ones the other day, right? They still yeah. sell. I sold one yeah, the other day for like $17. For t- for there are yeah. still some that sell for decent money. And I get, like I saw a Goonies one at a yard sale, and I'm like, no, i got to get but that. but Kevin. I'm not ever going to feel on. like that about a Beanie Baby. Well, ever. hold on. But I will about a Beanie Baby. Have you seen that? Uh, have you seen the Mark McGuire Beanie Baby, though? No, time out. Those are cool. Time out. I think that if you were to hop in a time machine and go to, like, 2002, the mm-hmm. same thing would be happening where some no. Beanie Babies were still valuable. A few but there's nothing were still resellable. About, it's just a Beanie Baby. There's no second layer of collectability that appeals to something else, like whatever the topic of the Funko is. There was not that with Beanie The problem Beanie is when they had the 47th variant of Spider-Man with the that, Funko I was just Pop. thinking the same thing. It's like there's I don't 47 disagree. Wolverines. Yeah, I don't too disagree. many. It's so like, I'm also, if we go back to 2002, I'd tell Nickelback, you peaked. I, I'd, I'd just go back to 
Go back to Lowe's does or anyone, something. But does anyone want to own all 47 Spider-Man? I don't think they do. Like, I think they there's, want one cool Spider-Man. There's three or four super nerds who Yeah, do. but, like, the vast majority of people are like, oh, yeah, I want a Spider-Man for my collection because I like Spider-Man. Maybe they buy two or three Spider-Man. But they're, right. they're I, not going to care. With you. Oh, there's one worth 300. I don't really care but, if I have that but one. But there's probably a Back to the Future collector out there that wouldn't mind every single Back to the Future character. And Maybe. that's not the yeah, case but, with but Beanie Yeah, but 50 Babies. variants of every Back to the Future character? But there's not yeah, do we 50 really... variants of every Back to the Future character. Do we need Doc Brown, like, dressed up like... Uh, who? Give uh, me a person. Stanley from The Office? <laughs> <laughs> do we need Doc Brown... Uh, I just that's the only one I could think of. Who's the other one? Michael no, J. Fox. No, clearly you only know one name. Just and it's Doc Brown. Brown. <laughs> that's the only name you know. I'm yes. looking it up. I'm looking it up, and I There's see several. Look at all these Martys. Marty, Marty, Marty. He's got a guitar. He's got his big jacket on. He's got yeah. He's a DeLorean. He's got. You know, it's like. But there are Back to the Future fans or Gremlins yeah. or whatever it is. So there's that second layer. Yeah, there's like, you know. I think, you know it, what bothered me? What always bothered me? Here's always. what always bothered me about the Funko market. Yes. The, the premium on the box. It reminds me so much of the premium on the tags on Beanie Babies yeah. and the tag protector. And they even have like, protectors for the boxes. Yeah, they have box like, the protectors. Beanie? Gosh, like, how, many, yeah. how many cases That's of a red Beanie, flag. How many cases of Beanie Baby oh, uh, tag protectors that reminds are out there right so now? Many. That reminds me of some. What if you grade those? My buddy oh, Eric. Cool. So for all you terrible pickers out there who have picked Beanie Babies in the past, he's looking for people to send him Beanie Babies because he's going to India and he wants to take some and give some to the kids over there. And Hot Wheels on carts. So if I you have, have some, check out OBX. He, he wants you all to – he's oh, trying to get 300 kid. different items. So go over there, reseller information network, and donate some stuff to him. Mike Hunt, yeah. Michael Hunt. <laughs> Michael Hunt. Please. Michael Hunt said, I've sold one thing on Bonanza in seven years. No. One thing on Bonanza. Okay, and then also user 0C6VP3JL7I, <laughs> Carrie. You want to read that one? Yeah, it's a, uh, who are the people on Trash to Cash podcast? <laughs> great question i don't know why you're not pulling out these questions these are fire questions i like this hashtag year of carry i agree from, from jay ride jeride 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 flips jeride yeah. uh, picks so a lot of Geride. okay so i think there's a problem because a lot of the people said they can't come to the trash cash bash because they don't have enough money that's because you're getting your reselling advice from this show. Yes. So uh, go watch a have, better podcast. We have found it's a small like issue with the podcast. Yeah. If we want people to come and we join have to us with things that cost successful. money, we have yeah. to help them make money. Mm. Here's If you guys want to make money and also watch our podcast, watch uh, Pure Hustle. Yeah. And then after kind of a palate cleanse. Maybe the daily refinement thing. Uh, yeah, the daily refinement thing. I, he's mm -hmm. been, how much sales on eBay? Is eBay's he gone? Is how he much sales on eBay does he have this year? Uh, zero, I think zero. Z yeah, zero. But watch him. He actually does give good advice. Yeah, but he, he split up with allegedly, the other guy. Allegedly. Does he still have a Patreon and all that? He does. He still has 1,377 paid members. Wow. Woo! And they're paying a lot. Five and bucks think, a month. guys, you could pay us. For, but you get none of the value back. Or we actually do. We give stuff. You got a Discord, right? Yeah, we got a Discord. We got yeah. Can we get some more signups to the Patreon? <laughs> really, guys? Please, 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 please. Also, a lot of my uh, channel members have been falling off. If you guys go subscribe to my ADHD Flips channel, <laughs> that has really helped me uh, financially. Because Kevin, what's what's your Flipper said today? everything's on the rise for ADHD. Is he not right? Well, you know, it's often on the rise, but then it goes back down. That's he, just the way it works. He, he buried me, saying so I was old news, and that my yeah. channel was going down. He on but ADHD. Can I tell you, observation. Hold on, Kevin. I want to tell you. I don't know if you know about this tool. Uh, there's a video mention tool. Have you ever played with one of these where you can like no, search no, mention? Kevin, you'd love this. Kevin, you would love this. You I don't want where to you're mentioned. This. this is gonna make Kevin just this like is, he'll never be. Kevin's not again. gonna post another item. Not that he was before, but he's never gonna post. <laughs> he's just gonna be on this all day. So like, look, let's go. Let's go over here. <laughs> search, search, search him. Let's search him. One. Well, Dave's gonna come up. One foot flipper. And then okay. search for all the let's times go. he mentions Commonwealth picker. Commonwealth. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. In, in the For last the life of his channel, like let's go through three years, years, search, and then you can actually see every time Paige has mentioned you, it'll actually search. I don't know if he's ever said Commonwealth Picker exactly. Maybe he, he might says have said Kevin. Kevin or Commonwealth Flipper. Oh, six. no, six times, okay? Year round, uh, coming in at number six here is Commonwealth Picker. If you're watching this, you're probably familiar with Just him. Just type and then you can in click on Commonwealth. Dude, is six not enough mentions of you? Dude, like, how many mentions no. do you how want? How many would you like, Kevin? Two names. 
I she think she's okay, mentioned me. But she's pretty wrapped up with that. I gave a shout out to Kevin Commonwealth Picker. Mm. I won the Commonwealth Picker coffee mug. And then you can just go to the video and skip right to the parts that talk about you, which I know you're really into mentions of yourself. Dude, you should so just thought, do this, Kevin. You could waste so much time. You here. could spend so. Oh, wait, who else do we think might have mentioned Kevin? Let's treat. Let's see if uh, Harry Tornado ever has. <laughs> I doubt it. Let's no, he only out. mentions Dave. Oh, Fart <laughs> 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 Let's ask Fart McNugget Harry Tornado. <laughs> and then ask how many times it's mentioned farts. Are you doing this? Okay, Commonwealth Picker. Let's see, let's see if, if he's, mentioned. he's ever mentioned it. Like this, I feel like Kevin could play with this tool for hours Kevin is upon waste so hours. Much Dude, I will this. promise you I won't do anything. Like One matching thing. video. Here we go. Always grab these. October 3rd. I truly had a great time at the Reseller Rally this year. I just want to give a shout out to Kevin the Commonwealth Picker. Did you know you got a oh, shout out? Let's see me. Let's see how many times I've done okay. it. Let's see on how, his? On, no, like uh, how many times I've mentioned him. Oh because my it's gosh. probably all negative. Oh, but you just say Kevin. Right? Oh, yeah, that's true. Do but you... I do say both. I say both. Okay, okay. American Arb. Arbitrage. No, no, there's a lot of Arbs. Arb... Gotta find oh the my gosh, thing. why is your name so dumb? Uh, <laughs> there we go. We got it. We got it. We got, we got it. it. Okay, come on, Picker. Search. Watch. Uh, this is... Oh my, oh gosh. my look gosh, look at this. 51. 51 times, Kevin. Ooh. See how much I care about you. Let's man. see how many times you said Kevin. Just Kevin. Just yeah, Kevin. probably even more. I bet it's 100. <laughs> 95 times! See what I say, though? 95. It's probably all terrible. Yeah, uh, Depressed is typically my phone's dead, so I kind of rely on Dawn. Just a couple of bobbleheads hanging out like Kevin. I got my new hat from the game last night. Uh, <laughs> one not is another way to sell. You know, Bonanza is technically a way to sell, I guess. I mean, Kevin, Kevin single, single-handedly, Commonwealth Picker guy is keeping Bonanza alive. <laughs> I guess I guess I figured since I had my glasses on, hat on, like Kevin the Commonwealth Picker. It's, it's, yeah. You can have a lot of fun with this, Kevin, is my point. Yeah, yeah look at that. It's a lot of Free press, and I love yeah. Carrie's new video. I love it. Do Thank you? you, man. I haven't Dude, watched have a single watched one of them. Of no, no, no. Dave? No, not you at all. You should watch his most recent flipping videos. I don't They're use YouTube. Good. I'm not into YouTube. <laughs> I'm not yeah, a YouTube guy. Yeah, he's more of a whatever. All right, let mm. me look here. What's his video? A hundred dollars. Unveiling the secret treasure. Did AI write that? Yeah. Unveiling the secret <laughs> treasures hiding in thrift stores. Can See, you survive oh, reselling full time? Okay. What do you want to talk about? Let's hear it. So uh, I saw you know all these wizards of smart who tell you how to make YouTube videos and then you know all this new stuff and all over. And some of them now are coming back and like, no, you should just be normal, make normal yeah. thumbnails, normal titles. Sam Don't use AI. Sully. People are turned off by AI. But I said that that's what would happen for a certain portion. Yeah, yeah. Of the I population. Agree with that. What are you so, doing, Dave? Oh, He's looking I'm at my. Channel. You mean I'm shaking my leg? Is are you hearing it? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, sorry, I can't help but move mm -hmm. all the time without any aggressive. It's the irritable bowel syndrome, which uh, he's letting it's so hard to not it move. release. I don't know how people just sit there mm -hmm. not moving. Like, I'm... Mm, they want I can do it for a long body. time. Yeah, that is true. It's a skill you have. Yeah. I got him up early today, though, Kev. I got him Dude, up at 10. I, yeah, I was, yeah, when did you get in, Gary? Really really? I, I, I was already in when you were texting me. I was going to say, I was texting him at 4 in the morning. How did he get up? No, I, but it was one, I was, I had weird jet lag where I was exhausted from the travel and the anxiety of traveling, which I hate, and I wasn't quite tired because my whole thing mm -hmm. was off because I was three hours ahead. Mm -hmm. So I fell asleep for half a second and then I woke back up and I couldn't fall back asleep till like 4. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be interesting because tomorrow I'm going to try to get him up for yard sales and we're going to see how that I think that I'll goes. be better Hopefully tomorrow than okay. I was today. That's so. my goal, my thought. Okay, so sale of the week. Mine was a Halo figure. Yours was what? The books, or was that last week? Uh, no, I think I sold the <sighs> second second set of books this for three hundred for two. And they were all Heckraiser. Hell yeah, Heckraiser, <laughs> Heckraiser, the and, whole collection. Yeah, and you got okay, Kevin. What about you? Don, what do we have other sale? sales this week that were really good? I just I have because I've got to film a video later tonight, so I only have what's going out today, and I think this is my best one. It's a uh, flute, two hundred bucks plus shipping. A flute. Mm -hmm. One time at band camp, I was gonna pull out a flute from my sleeve and start playing. Oh, dude! I just sold. I sold a TV. I sold a CRT TV for 160 plus. Gosh, it's, it, are you gonna ship that yourself? Yes. <laughs> you think somebody else is gonna ship that thing? I'm just making sure. Uh, okay. This is uh. This that's is worth it. Isn't that worth it? Wouldn't you ship a TV for 160 bucks? Yeah, I would. How much do you pay for the TV? Five. You mean if I physically had to ship it? No. But like if John would, yeah. I'd buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I would ship it, yes, if I had to. Okay, so this has been Trash to Cash Podcast. We're going to end it now because we got some other stuff. It's 2024, Brian Big and Fun. How are you doing, man? Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. I'm stoked. I've already started uh, cleaning the shelves, as you can tell. They're in tip-top shape, and you can also do that. 
I think the key to making 2024 stupendous, as they say, is just laser, laser focus on your goals. What do you want, man? And don't say anything about my zit. I can't do anything about it. I could, sure, I could, you know, tighten up the beard and everything, and that will happen before the bash. But, you know, I'm, I'm putting it off into the last, absolute last moment. But you got to have a laser focus, dude. What do you want? Do you want to make a million dollars? That's silly. Why bother? What do you need a million? What are you going to do with a million dollars? You going to fly me out to some Philly games? If, if that's what you're going to do with a million dollars, then I say go for it. But if that's not on the agenda, why bother? You're good. Just get a couple hundo, a couple hundo G's, a couple hundo G's, get a Bentley or just like a Maserati, a Ford Taurus, but like the teal with the package that doesn't have anything, like it doesn't come with a radio. You have to buy an aftermarket radio that may or may not work. Um, something like that, but you can do it. That's what I want you to know. You can do it, man. I believe in you. Ooh. Kind of a brain fart. Harry Tornado, um, this is your motivation. Sports cards are like you. Human analogy. In the sense that Never say never, you know. Bieber. Um, you can, ooh, ooh wee. You can um, make things happen, dude. You've had a marginal amount of success and well earned. Um, and I think if you, whatever your plans are for 2024, dude, just remember this. Don't forget us, please. Please. Kevin has explicitly asked me to tell you not to forget us. Um, when you start your podcast up inevitably in a couple years again for one random episode out of the blue that nobody expects or asked for, um, don't forget us, please just don't forget us. Just remember, remember the people that you, you, you basically catapulted above and uh, into the stratosphere. Remember us. And, and that's my, that's my motivation to you is to motivate you to remember just us. You can. I've said this to everybody. It's obligatory. You can do it. Dearest Don, you may believe me to be a penniless dewdropper, a ne'er do well, even a scamp. In times like this, I think of something dear Scotty said the world only exists in your eyes. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Frankly, I have no idea what that actually means, but I shall blissfully act like I do. See, Don, a lot of dough can be made if we just get in the old bucket and go down the Route 66, finding deals from, from secondhand stores from the Dust Bowl all the way to the Rockefeller Center. It would be keen to have the bees, to be the bees' knees, you see. Listen here, kitten. You can do it. I believe in you. I don't think... As a dopey lug, I can do this on my own. So, hopefully, we got this. Matt's Prof Pursuits. It's 2024. Yeah! Time for a new you. A new you who can do the things that you would not do before. Do stuff. Like, cool stuff. You're, you're a skater, dude. Like, stuff you used to do back in the day. Like, go downhill really fast into, like, an abandoned storage room and, like... Do a bunch of like flippy dipties and some swervy derbies and see who can get the most amount of points in let's say like 90 seconds max. It'll be a competition. Just spitballing here, man. I'm not the, the arbiter of your dreams. You can do it, but possibly not.